What's up, everyone? It's Yue on the Strictly Broken Twitch channel doing the second episode of the best ever Way Short Set Review show with my constant co host, Thomas M. How are you doing this fine evening, my man? <laughs> this is a cringy, cringy dance. Oh, looks like you are currently muted. How are you doing? Let us renew. Let us know again what? how you're doing, man. I am sorry. <laughs> you were muted. I am not trying to silence you. Oh, now I'm not doing so great, dude. I am sorry. I, am I just sorry. put on a show for free for a bunch of people. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't do I don't do business like that. But I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing okay considering the circumstances. <laughs> glad glad you're doing okay. Chat if there's any audio issues or anything please let me know in the chat i'll get that res resolved as soon as possible and today i am ooh, gotta play the music by the way gotta get that music going boom boom and you know on cue with the music i'd like to introduce this week's special distinguished guest zabuton78 also known as ken please introduce yourself my man welcome to the show uh yeah sorry just as you always said i'm zabuton78 on Twitter, um, also known as Ken, whichever name you're more comfortable with. I've been playing this game for a while if you're not aware of my existence, so I hope my two cents can help you out in judging what cards in this set are good and not so good. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Ken. It's like, what, 11 a.m. over in, where you're from? So uh, I'm glad you were able uh, to tune in. Noon now, yeah. <laughs> Crazy squile, it's wild. Um, yeah, and so today on the best ever way Shores card review show set review show whatever it's called I'm still not fully sure if that's gonna be the title, but we're gonna stick with it for now We're doing idol master shiny colors. I've been told Ken that you are a big mm -hmm. fan of this Is it an anime or a game? I don't even know uh, It's a mobile slash browser game if you look at all my Twitter likes recently I think half of my likes are just shiny colors <laughs> Uh, fanfic things so yeah i've been pretty big on this game for about a year now um the pandemic situation definitely has given me a lot more time to play uh yeah so given this opportunity i would like to talk about the wife set as well awesome awesome thank you thank you a bunch uh so getting straight into it uh before we get into the actual show i do want to spend a couple minutes just a couple minutes doing our due diligence and thanking our very important and gracious sponsors nova tcg the best source in north america for japanese way source trading cards uh, the owner wanted me to let you guys know that he has pre-orders up on the set up on the site ready to go some more coming this week so stay tuned on that website to see uh, upcoming pre-orders as well as shiny colors you can order that starting maybe tonight maybe tomorrow uh probably tonight actually so definitely if you see something that we review that you really really want you can check on NovaTCG.com. Also, thank you to Waste Tea Time. You can check out that website at wastetime.blogspot.wordpress.com. Uh, it's an excellent site for card reviews. I use it myself. I cannot read Japanese for the life of me. I'm not like Ken. So I need a resource like Waste Tea Time so that I can make sure to keep up my... Uh, uh, to keep up with the card re reviews right like as a person who wants to keep up with sets know what they do so i don't i'm not out of the loop for too long wasty time is an excellent resource there's also uh you know competitive articles deck text on that blog so definitely check it out uh as, for example for salicization after second i still checked out wasty time because they keep the translations up on that site so you can check it out you can check out these slides that we have for the show on wasty time as well so she kindly leaves them up for you guys to Take a look at i use it to build my decks uh and uh everything uh so shout out to them and uh, finally shout out to strictly broken tcg for allowing us to use uh this platform for this wonderful show uh repping the strictly broken tcg merch no <laughs> anyways i'll stop being cringe let's get straight into the show before we begin the actual review i do want to clarify a couple of things last week uh, i mean not last week last show we had these stars on the bottom that we used to kind of provide information for you guys on what we thought about cards. But we realized in hindsight, we did not 
properly let you guys know what each star means and represents for us. So I'm going to spend that time right now to quickly talk about what a star rating represents for us. A one star rating uh, for us is something that is uh, a card that is kind of uninteresting. The effect is fundamentally just bad. And when we give that rating, we're telling you just don't buy it. <laughs> and, you know, if in the re-review we were wrong, that's when something that's when something really interesting happens because we can talk about why we're wrong, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, a two star rating uh, is cards that uh, we think play a role, you know, play a role in a deck, but they're not particularly unique. Think about your typical level zero plus and zeros. There's so many to choose from, and most of them are just going to be a two because they're very, very replaceable. So they're very replaceable. They're not that unique. They're forgettable. You know, that's a two rating at its core. A three uh, for us can go both ways. It's the most, you know, undecided kind of we are not sure yet rating. Uh, threes generally can swing higher or lower in the re-review and are the most up for debate. Four star rating cards are cards that we are basically tell you buy it. Uh, you are very safe buying it. Think of like a think of like a strong stock like Apple. <laughs> like you you people will just recommend you to buy that stock, whereas you know the lower ratings kind of like GME and AMC, you know. So four, like you're it's a basically a safe buy. You don't need to worry too much about it. And uh yeah. And finally, five for us is a card. You see this card, you get excited about the set because of this card. It is probably also very, very strong, though sometimes five ratings don't have to be very, very strong. They're just very, very build around cards that completely change and maybe influence how we see a set, how we build decks in that set. Those are fives. The most unique, sometimes very strong, powerful cards. Guys, you understand those ratings? We actually went over them before the show, so of course you understand these ratings. Uh, shall we get started with the show then? Let's go. Let's go. One last thing. One last thing. <laughs> I remember. So, I, yeah. I, sorry, I had to. I had to. Ex I have to take a step back for a sec. For Idol Master Shiny Colors, we're doing a special kind of review where we are reviewing the entire set by unit, not just by. And, and I was told units are basically like the bands that the the characters are in. Um, the reason we are doing that is it provides better set assessment in general. It is just more effective that way uh because cards work together well in the units and you know that's just how we're going to be doing it uh so you can you know in the in the subsequent vod of the set review you can browse all the set review by unit and one last thing before we get started uh i will read all subs donations uh follows and everything during intermissions that we'll have in between each unit we're doing units right because we're not doing colors tom is that correct Yep. Intermissions between units. And uh, so we can catch up there. Each intermission will be five to 10 minutes. We can get a chance to, you know, catch a breath, uh, go get some water, or uh, spend, our spend our time uh, enjoying the cards a little more in a different room. Anyways, now I am done holding this back, guys. Are we ready for the set review? Yes. Oh, like, yeah, you're asking us. All right, I thought you were talking to the chat. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's get it started then. Let's get it. Okay, I can't sing that. It's a copyright issue. Let's get started. <laughs> so the first unit we're going to be doing is Illumination Stars. Uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Illumination Stars. I, I don't know anything about... I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't know anything about these units, but let's go. So the first card in Illumination Stars, this 1-0 Hiori. But just to let you guys know, we are doing trial deck cards as well for this show. Uh... We're not doing all of them. We're just doing the ones handpicked by Zabuton78 himself. Can uh, now some cards might see play later in the trial decks. We're not going to review them because we couldn't possibly fit them all into this one show. Uh, we trust in Ken's expertise, and if something is missing, that just that's a good opportunity for me to talk about in the re-review. That cool, Ken. You have anything to say about your assessment? You made the choice for these trial deck uh, uh, cards. Yeah. yeah. Um. Just as you always said, I did pick these cards out of all the cards in the trial deck. I feel like there's a few more which may see some niche use, but I think for the moment I would have picked everything that uh, would be on the top of people's minds when building decks. There's a few others with interesting uses that I may have thought of, so yeah. Um, hope we don't have to spend too much time going through all the trial deck cards with my selection. 
Fair enough, fair enough. Anyways, we're on this 1-0 Hiori. Let's just get right into it. Uh, this 1-0 Hiori Climax combo. When this card attacks, if you have the uh, choice Climax in the Climax area on the bottom right, and you have another music character, you uh, may look at up to the top four cards of your deck, choose up to one music character from among them, add it to hand, send the rest to Waiting Room. Um, we've seen this card in previous TDs, actually. It's a pretty generic level one combo. Um, it's on a good trigger. Uh, I don't know if there's that much else to say about it. Uh, what, do, what do you think, I think it is the, I think it's the first time that it's been on choice, actually. Um, oh, that's a good point, any, yeah. I don't remember any other TDs playing uh, choice triggers in the past, sir. Mm. I think it might first one um aside from that while being generic uh there's a few other cards in this set which or specifically in context of this one there's one card which you want uh yellow level one for and this is one of the two decent combos at level one for yellow so that puts it into consideration and i'd give it a three out of five um it's a bit up for debate whether or not this card will see play but um it's certainly one of the options on the table so i'll go with the three three, no, it, three it is move sorry moving right along if i can this tutu meguru meguru uh continues for each of your other music characters it gets 1000 powerful 1000 power and hand on court passively pretty generic standby profile i think it's yeah. your level two that you play at level one um this is what two standby targets it has on call it's a bit smaller than the other one which we'll see down the line mm. uh that's about it uh it's a three out of five i think i missed the rating on oh uh, yeah uh yeah this one's a three out of five um it's not outstanding but it's one of your two options so yeah it, it's just where it is fair enough fair enough Next up, this zero zero mono auto ability pay one this one. It's it's just a pay one this one search, and then uh, it has twin drive. So pay one uh, during the trigger step. You may trigger check twice. Um, as far as it's just a drop searcher with some extra text, and the extra text happens to be pretty decent. Honestly, uh, I think twin drive is like pretty useful at all phases of the game. Yeah. So. Solid card, I think. Um, it has two ways to pay stock, so it's really good at cleaning up your stock when mm. you've triggered a climax somewhere down the line without actually having to use all two, uh, use two or three, and decrease the total by the end of the turn. Uh, that being said, you're not going to play a deck because it has a very overpowered drop search or anything, unless, well, actually, just never. So again, I think I just give this card a three out of five. Yeah. Sounds good, sounds good. That's all she wrote. Right, a long. Holy Tom, how did you do that last week? All right. Now, holy, this picture just transformed. What the heck? Boom, boom. Oh, my oh God. Yeah, that's, that's all right. That's that. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like a slide. It's like one of those picture books, flip things, animation. <laughs> this 3 2 mono, if this card is in the front row, all of your music characters get plus 1500 power. Climax combo, discard a card when this card attacks. If you have the gate climax in your climax area, pictured on the bottom right, you and you have two other separate characters whose names include Hiori and one whose name includes Meguru, so you need one of each. You may pay the cost if you do, deal two damage to your opponent. Uh, uh, I like... I think the finishing effect is pretty cheap, and uh, the first effect is actually quite good because there's a few other cards that make this really big um and we'll cover those later but uh what do you what what do you think about this card ken um it's nice because you can stand by this card out and then if you win the board you can just keep pushing a combo unfortunately having to slam a door when you get a direct attack is a bit awkward but yeah the combo being cheap is nice um sadly this set's door combos are all kind of a bit weak or awkward in their own way. We'll cover the other ones later, but 
if you really want to play a level three door combo, this is probably the one. But aside from that, this is probably a unit cup card. Um, I'll give it a two. Yeah. Two it is. Let's uh stars there and move right along. Next up, three two Hiori. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you may heal one. Pay one at the start of your opponent's attack phase. You may pay the cost if you do. Choose your other character in the front row center slot and this card. Stand them, swap their positions, and this turn, this card gets 1,000 power. Only this card, I think. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a healer. Uh, it has the field swap utility is situationally pretty nice. But um, I think you'd probably be mostly playing this as like a heal with some tricks, I guess. Um, yeah. oh, I just included this card in the list because it has Hiori Damon as a front row card. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you can use it in conjunction with the red level 3 that we just saw. Um, aside from that, yeah, you probably won't see it in most regular decks, so again, this is a 2 out of 5. 2 out of 5? For sure, sure. Do I close both? Learning, learning as we go. I'm in a new role today, but it's all good. It's all good. Next up, 1 0 Meguru. These are set cards at this point. I, so I'm already lost in the yeah. sauce a little bit. So we're on set cards already. TD cards, it went pretty quick. Um, did we skip some set rares already? Whatever, not important. Experience, if there is a yellow card in your level zone, this card gets plus 1,000 power. Climax combo, pay one, discard a card at the start of your climax phase. If the choice climax picture uh, is in your climax area and this card is in your front, oh, this is in your front row and it's in your front row. You have, and you have another music character and what? I can't read this. This is in your front row and you have another music character and the slot across from this has either no character or a reverse character. So these are all conditions for the effect. You may pay cost. If you do search your deck for up to two music characters, show them to your opponent, add to your hand, shuffle your deck. Wow, I was tripping on my words. What do you guys think? Um, so I think we've seen a couple of our combos like this. Uh, obviously the combo, it's like the actual effect is really good, you know, searching two, pay, like, searching two from your deck is, like, really good selection, but, uh, I think it might be a little hard to fulfill that, uh, no character or reverse character against some matchups. Um, mm -hmm. this is another choice combo, by the way, this is another level one choice combo, yeah. so this is, like, another option for deck building, if you're into yellow. Mm -hmm. Um, for whatever reason, this set doesn't have very many uh, efficient power pump cards in the early game. So, uh, as Tom was saying, it is not easy to get multiple of this card off. But at the same time, you probably don't really want to pay to discard two during your encore step to search four cards. So, um, it's nice to be able to easily hand fix on just one lane. And I think, despite what I intent, uh, in originally thought about this card, it's quite playable. Um, again, it's competing against the aforementioned TD card, but I'd still give it a 3 out of 5 as well. Boom, boom. Three it is. Tom, you concur? Yes. Yes, I do. All right. Next up, 3-2 Meguru. Uh, it's a level assist. Uh, continuous experience if there are three or more different colors in your level zone it gets continuous to all of your other characters get plus 1000 wow that's pretty cool when this is placed on stage from hand look it up to x cards from the top of your deck choose up to one among them add it to your hand send the rest to the waiting room x equals the number of your music characters yeah so this is i think pretty obviously designed for the illumination stars deck uh as ken put it earlier i mean you could call this like a unit cup card i think it's pretty obviously designed to be used with the td uh, mono we covered a little earlier um all the text is like fine in the generic way but i don't know if it's that strong enough to make it into like decks outside of illumination stars oh. Oh, i am of quite a different opinion and i think this card mm -hmm. is cool. Obviously designed in such a way that it works with Illumination Stars, but um, the experience effect doesn't specify what three colors you have, so you can actually just play it in almost any deck with two or more colors, given that you play a third color at level zero or something. Mm. And it gives 2-5 to the cards in front of it, 
problem if they're level threes. And you can also dig for um, up, to, uh, up to five cards. So in any finisher deck, I think the level three choice finisher twins that we'll see a lot later down the line would work pretty well with this card, seeing as they don't dig for their own climax and they heal. So if you don't end the game on that turn, you don't mind if they stick around for a bit longer. Uh, I'm quite big on this card and I'd give it a four. Four. Okay, okay. Yeah. So on the level of a staple status, I like it, I like it, I like the bravado. Uh, four it is, uh, moving right along. Um, is there a hot key way to clear the stars? Uh, no. I mean, just click on the group. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Big brain. Next up, 1-0 Hiori. Continuous. During your turn, it gets plus 1,000 power. And when this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you choose one of your other music characters, rest and move it to the back. We call it a clean cut. Y'all know what it is. Get it. Level one clean cut. That's five, five. When it attacks. Um, yeah. Do you like these effects past level zero, Ken? I, I, uh, think... I think I've only played this card in Darling in the Franks as a level one. I was thinking the same that thing. Slam climaxes oh, right. a lot. <laughs> Um, that being said, I think just because by virtue of being a level one yellow card, you might be able to play it and with, actually no, that doesn't, yeah, I, I think just being a level one uh, yellow card that technically pluses you if you don't, even if you don't have a combo means that you might see it as maybe a two of in yellow focus decks just to keep your hand running in your bad games. Yeah. Uh, I'd still just give it a two or something though. Yeah. An ambiguous two, yeah. Fair enough. Next up, we got this zero zero Hiori. Uh, rest one of your standing music characters. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one card from your level zone and one card from waiting room. Swap them. Uh, when this card attacks, choose one of your other music characters. This turn, it gets plus X power. X equals the, that character's soul times a thousand. Um, I don't know how I, if I recall, I don't think this level swap effect has much use outside of like the color requirements that Illumination Stars cards have. Um, and I think the power pump effect is just kind of not the best for, not, not the best power pump effect in the set even. So, uh, apart from it being like a Hiri and being yellow, I don't know what, there's not really that much that's special about this card, I think. Uh, I don't think it's special, but um, it kind of fills the role that you need in what well, mentioning that red level one mono that we're going to see down the line, but mm. it requires a yellow card in level that's while true. being a red card, so it works with that, and this set doesn't have that many effective power pumps at zero. So being able to pump something, uh, the mono up to 9k if you have a climax, or 8k, and the choice combo Megru from earlier to what's that eight five of climax is kind of nice. Um, so I kind of like this card just for being able to feel the role that it plays, and I'd give it a three out of five. Three out of five. Okay. Yeah. So keep in mind, can three out of five is our. It could be. It's like kind of in the middle. So you can't. I know you're confident with the rating. I just want to make sure. You know, we're good. We're good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, three out of five is where I put this card. Comfortable, comfortable. I like it, I like it. Let's get it. And you stop making sounds, my phone. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Tom is going to yell at me after the show. I already know it. Oh, my goodness. Please don't. Yo, F's in the chat, boys. I'm going to get yelled at. Next card, 3-1 event. This chibi event. Uh, it's kind of cute. Art. Choose one of your characters this turn. It gets plus 2,000 power. Choose one of your characters this turn. It gets plus one soul. And then choose one of your characters this turn. It gets auto ability. Uh, you may pay, uh, this ability activates one time once per turn. Uh, when damage dealt is canceled, you may deal one damage to your opponent. We call it shot. Um, there's a bond to this card. I think. Yeah. It uh yeah, yeah. it sal it salvages this card from the waiting room, and um, I think we've seen this event in previous sets before. I think namely Madoka was like the most notable one. Uh, I think this is just. All right, it's like fine. Mm. Um, there's some like potential synergies going on. Like you could like stack this 
on like your finisher of choice. It could go on like any deck you run yellow in, basically. So yeah, it's pretty versatile. I think Tom. Yeah, I think Tom said everything I wanted to say. Um, Sorry, <laughs> it's not actively it's not actively terrible in any way. Um, you can bond into it. You can tack it on your finisher and it'll do extra damage. It's, it's pretty threatening, but it's about it. So uh, I'd say I'd give it a two out of five. Um, won't see it in that many decks, but it's not bad, so I wouldn't give it a one either. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Incur, sorry I interrupted you there. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, yeah. All right, my man. Next card. Still a, oh, I, I get it. There are colors to this. I'm, I'm starting to understand this 3-2 mono. Yeah. <laughs> when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may heal one Climax combo at the start of your Climax phase. If you have the standby, Climax below in the Climax area. If this card is in your front row and you have two or more other music characters, choose one of the following effects, two effects, and resolve it. Choose one of your other music characters, stand it, then choose up to two of your characters. This turn, they get plus one soul. Uh, and then, or deal one damage to your opponent this turn, this gets plus 1,000 power. Um, so I think this is one of two level three standby combos available for this yeah. set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is easily the most, the more generic one. This is like more easily playable in like other like decks that might run red and want standby. Uh, I actually really like the the modal nature of this card because you could you could stand by this out at level two, and then you get like immediate use out of like a card you stand by out maybe uh, if you don't need the bird one. Uh, what are your thoughts, Ken? Oh, uh, I was actually pretty excited to talk about this card because I don't oh. think this card is very good at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> like. Uh, I think if you, your opponent would be threatened by this card getting its combo off ever, um, you're probably having a very good game, or your opponent's having a very bad game, maybe both. Um, this card has very little reach from 3-0 because it's on a standby combo, and um, you either just give two characters one soul or burn one, and you don't really get to choose when you burn one when you have two copies, they always have to burn at the beginning. Um, which means that if your opponent has one of those damage surveil effects, your opponent gets the damage surveil before they have to before they get to take the two. Um, overall, I just don't think this card is very threatening in any measure, and mm. I don't think I'd ever see myself playing this card. So I want to give this card a one. Damn. All right. Um, would you not? Would you? not see yourself playing this at all then if you were happening to play like an eight standby list would you play the uh straight light yeah. combo instead? i don't even know if i'll play that combo either for well the first reason is both of them are only 10k so um yeah. if i bring them out early i don't have very much confidence that they're staying alive hmm. um i said earlier as well but this next power lines are not fantastic um when it comes to standby as well just, um, the stake power is not particularly high, so it's somewhat of an opportunity cost that you have to play this card and then protect it as well. Um, so if I did play it standby, I think... Well, we'll see all the, all the, card, all the cards later, but I don't think I'd be playing the level 3 combos. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like it. Very bold. We will... You know, honestly, with someone who's thought this deeply into the set, it also makes sense, but... You know, re-review is gonna, what's going to get you, Ken. Re-review will get you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not I'd be left too wrong. Next, like the <laughs> Next car, one zero mono experience. If there's a yellow car in your level zone, it gets three thousand power. Let's keep it short and sweet, guys. So one zero seven K. I know Ken really likes yeah. this card. Yeah. I am. Yeah, I'm, I really wanted to play this card, but um, I can't give it a four or higher because out of all the thinking that I've done, I can't really make this card work in a deck, so I'd probably have to give it a 2, but mm. um, I feel like the payoff is really great for this card if you can find a home for the card effect. Um, maybe if an expansion comes ever, this card is something that you'd want to keep hold of. So let's go for the Alright, stocks, hold, 
Just hold GME 2021. Let's go oh, to the moon. Just to on. But oh, Bruce yeah, Cup yeah. probably does offer a pretty good power line in Unit Cup, so there mm. is that. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I wonder who it is. Short and sweet. Let's move on to the next card. This 2 1 Meguru. A1, send one of your characters to waiting room. When you use this card's backup, if you have four or more music characters, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponents. Character whose level is higher than your opponent's level and send it to the waiting room. An anti change backup for 2,500 power. Uh, notably, this gives your opponent the stock back. Um, send it to the stock. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I, sure. I really. Man, it's a sack counter, which is cool, but also, uh,. Giving your opponent a stock is like it feels pretty bad, especially because like yeah I don't know like do you ever feel like you feel good if you use this anti change effect Ken I I feel like if um obviously this card would be better if it sent it to the bottom of the deck or something yeah but I can appreciate stock sometimes because it means my opponent can't on court so true. in certain scenarios you can anti-change your opponent's back row support and that sometimes makes a two for one trade so i don't think that sending to stock is strictly worse than say waiting room obviously it's most always strictly worse than um bottom deck but i don't think this card is as awkward as some people have been making it out to be based on what I've been seeing on um, public Discord groups. So, uh, I'll give this a shout out. Five. Shout out. It, it, five? It, okay. I'm, I'm down. It, it feels uh, well. and, Yeah, yeah. It's for sure. Um, it's cheap anti-change that your opponent can't on core against, so. That is true. It's a good point, right? Like, like yeah. it's like everybody's point? like a plus one stock compared to what they were before. Yeah. Like if with yeah. a regular stack counter, so yeah, I can appreciate that for sure. Well, I'd say like, yeah, this card could be better, but so could a lot of other cards in a lot of sets. So, um, I'll, I'll settle for what it is. Four? As a, uh, I'll, I'll get sorry. It, it's a three out of five, but uh, I'll settle like I'll settle with what we've been given. Sure, sure, sure. Three out of five. We'll leave it at that. Sorry, I couldn't hear. I was like one, two, three, four, five. Like all the numbers sorry. of the rainbow <laughs> man at that point. <laughs> all right next card uh zero zero meguru when this card is placed on stage from hand look it up to two cards from the top of your deck and put them back on top in any order discard one card when this card is placed on stage from hand you may pay the cost if you do choose one three one chibi illumination stars event from your waiting room and add it to hand the card we saw earlier it's in the bottom right you guys can revise it uh i like uh the first effect is nice um it's a nice like but obviously if you're gonna play this card it's probably because you're running the event too it's a nice yeah. like plus yeah yeah um you're not gonna play this card only for the first effect because this set has more cards with that effect you only play it if you yeah, play it should be illumination it does it's probably it's a two out of five because it's basically a package with the other card fair enough fair yeah. enough Two out of five it is. Right along. Zero, zero here. We're at, there's blue cards now too. Oh my god, this deck has everything. Three uh, colored experience. Unit, experience bro. at the start of your climax phase. Choose X of your music characters. This turn they get plus five hundred power. X equals the number of colors among cards in your level zone. Make sure to read this effect, chat. It got me confused yesterday, but it's three different characters. Or like if you have three different colors. Then brainstorm, pay one, rest this card, flip the top four cards. For each climax hit, search your deck for, for up to one music character, show it to your opponent, and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. Yeah, um, put it simply, it's a tap self plusing brainstorm, which is pretty solid. Uh, we actually got tripped up like, I think, two or three times on the translation of this effect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I think it's like, it's like, okay, it's like pretty solid. You know, power effects are nice on mm -hmm. stuff like this. Um, I think it would be a bit better if it gave X times 500 power to one character, like the Princess Connect Brainstorm, but mm. yeah, it's not bad per se, so it's a search brainstorm, it gives power, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5? Alright, sounds good. 
you know, be hard pressed to see Brandon Ayuk get less than a rating like that. Yeah. Uh, next up, maybe there's a lot actually that probably would. I take it back. I'm just through reader you guys are the analyzers three two hiori if you have two or less climaxes in your waiting room this card gets minus one level in hand when this is placed on stage from hand choose up to one of your opponent's characters return to the hand and this turn this card gets plus one soul uh it's a bouncer that you can play level two and beyond which is pretty nice but um also not like too great as an early play because it has the bounce effect. Um, what are your thoughts, Ken? Yeah, I think you've said everything. Um, it's nice that you can bounce at, early t uh, at level two instead of just level three, but you're not going to use this card in, to come back in all your games. So it's a it plays a role. I'll give it a three out of five. Boom, boom. Sounds good. Number three out of fives. Ah, I guess it could be a three out of five. That makes sense. Sorry, not to nitpick your rating. We just have to make sure we follow within our guidelines for the ratings. Next up, zero, zero, mono. Experience one. The total level of cards in your level is one or higher. This card gets plus 1,000 power and gains the following ability. Send this to waiting room at the start of your climax phase. You may pay cost if you do choose one. 1-0 mono that we reviewed earlier, the 107k that's on your bottom right. Place it on stage in this card slot. Auto ability when this card is placed on stage from hand, choose up to one of your opponent's characters, put it into their memory, and your opponent puts that character from their memory on any position of their stage. Um, historically, I think the second effect has been like situationally useful against certain kinds of cards. Um like a minus soul card minus soul combo rather uh and the first effect is pretty tied intimately to the uh aforementioned mono um did this did this uh so you talked about some awkwardness earlier ken did this solve any did this alleviate any of those awkward issues you had with the uh um mono? this somewhat adds mono. an extra layer because for some <laughs> reason the level one is uh, the level one requires you to have yellow card in level, and this one requires you to have experience one, so you can't put a level zero in there. Right. And on top of which, neither of these cards are yellow, so you have to find another slot for the yellow. Um, I don't think this card really removes the awkwardness surrounding the, the red mm -hmm. level one uh, as much as I would like it to. I'm also a bit unsure why it gains 1k on the experience when it's meant to just swap into the level 1 immediately. And it's practically a vanilla at level 0, so if you have to attack with this, it's not fantastic. Um, but the blink effect does see some niche play, so I think it's a 2 out of 5. Uh, sounds good. I was thinking, I was laughing in my head because uh, I was like, you could trick your opponent over playing one of their other characters. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> wow so, i digress i digress <laughs> moving along 2-1 mono when this card is placed on stage from hand look at the top card of your deck put it on top of your deck or send it to waiting room when it attacks with the level of the character across from it is three or higher get six six thousand power to make it thirteen thousand power uh i don't know this is just a pretty generic card it's uh you play it to reverse level threes at any point after level two. The first effect is nice, but it's just pretty generic. Yeah. I don't know. You want to just give it, it a rating? See and... play. Yeah, uh, I'll just go with two out of five. It might yeah. see play. That's about it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Right along. We have this zero zero. Mano, Hyori, and Megumi. So many names. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a music character or an event, add it to hand, discard a card. When this card becomes reversed, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level two or higher, you may return this card to your hand. Um, so I'm a high roller. I love... I am super biased towards these uh bounce back effects but obviously it's not like the it's not like a it's not the best uh it's not like a super great effect 
Uh, it's a pretty like generically playable card. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, not much else to say for me. I think. Um. So I just realized there was a translation error. Her name is Meguru, so yes, this card does count for that level 3 combo in the TD. She doesn't change name between cards. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, this is not a call-out, I'm just clarifying. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Everyone it, makes mistakes. I think it's not, um, it's not an amazing card, but if... It's a deck that would appreciate uh, being able to look at uh, dig the top card every time this bounces. I think it's kind of nice. The fact that it's 500 means that it's a bit less likely to be bombed as well, so you can get as many opportunities as you like out of the card. But mm. it's a bit specific in what kind of deck you might want to play it. I think it would be good in a deck playing the Chibi Illumination Stars event. So I'd say it's a 2 out of 5. Sounds good, sounds good. Moving right along, 2-1, more names, Hiori and Mano and Meguru, yeah, name spelled properly this time. Experience, if your level it has two or more different colors, this card gets plus 500 power and auto ability Encore. When this card attacks, choose one of your other characters. This turn it gets plus X power, X equals the number of your music characters times 500. I want to make sure it's not other, right? It's just your, just the number of your music characters. Uh, no, it should be other. Okay. Based on other. Sounds good. So, so yeah, it's just a Shimakaze Kai. It's a cost one Shimakaze Kai that can be hand on cord. Yeah. If you have the experience condition, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know when anyone would play this. Um, I played a very similar card in Yuki Sinon, maybe what's that, four or five years ago. But that's one standby didn't exist. <laughs> there's a two one. There's a two one Suguha from Volume Two, which is this without the experience and has 500 less power constant, but always has the encore. Um, yeah, you wouldn't play this card now because your opponent's not going to let you just keep the six five on the board. But uh, yeah, I, I think I'll give it a one out of five. It's not an actively bad card, it's just you wouldn't use it now to what cards do at this current point in time. Fair enough. F's in the chat for the uh, FIFA card. Feels bad, man. Moving right along. <laughs> oh, no moving right along. We're done with, uh, what's that called again? Illumination Stars. And we'll be going into Lantica. Oh, sorry, Antica? Or, Ken, you told me this yeah. yesterday. I already forgot. It, yeah, right Antica. after the break. I, I don't know why the L's silent, but it is. <laughs> we'll get started on Antica now, so can be gentle. <laughs> First card, TD again. We're starting with trial deck cards. These are personally selected by Ken, so it's not all the trial deck cards. It's just the ones that he thinks will be relevant, and uh, there might be some others that are relevant later, but these are Ken's hand-picked trial deck cards to watch out for in Antica and all the other units. Zero zero Kirito? Oh, Kiriko. Sorry, I'm still thinking about Sal. Assist fire <laughs> my shit. Uh, uh, put this card into your waiting room. When another of your characters is put into your waiting room from the stage, if this card is in the backstage, you may pay the cost. If you do return that character to its previous stage position as rested. Uh, mm, this is all right. Uh, you know... If you don't end up using the, needing the Encore, it still does something on the board, which I think is nice. But um, um, what kind of deck do you think this would most likely be seen in, Ken? Um, I was thinking standby decks. So you can mm -hmm. toss this card for your mulligan, and then if you trigger a standby, you can bring this out somewhere down the line, and you can save Ooh. one of your front row cards later plays That's one use. yeah and the other super silly but kind of maybe useful um way to use this card's ability is there's a ramorous clone in this set um so one of those cards which pay one and spawn a costless character but it goes to memory at the end of the turn um so what you can do is you can spawn this card in the back row jump attack with something and then send uh sack this to save the card before it goes to memory and you can pseudo pay one ahead of time to encore your character. I don't think you'll see this card 
use very often, but it was kind of a cool thing that my friend came up with, so I just wanted to say that on stream. Oh, shout out to your friend, I guess. Um, what would you rate it? Yeah. Rate it? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. I yeah, I think it's a two out of five. Um, mostly for the stamp by use, where it might help you keep your board up, but yeah, um, it's a rather niche card. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sorry for stepping on your toes, Tom. Please don't beat me later. Uh, right along. One zero. <laughs> Another Kiriko. Gotta watch out. That looks like Kirito. This card is placed on stage from your hand. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put them back in any order. I feel like I've read that before already. When this card becomes reversed, if this card's battle opponent is level one or lower, you may reverse that character. Uh, this is really nice for the standby deck. Uh, I really like bombs in standby decks, and I really like the first like effect in standby decks as well. I think this is a really good card for any like standby deck. Oh, I don't really like bombs in standby decks myself, but for other reasons on. Um... Top two check effect on a bomb is a good secondary effect, and a level one red bomb means that you can use it with um. There's a global rune there that we're gonna talk about later, which gives one of your characters the ability to send cards that it reverses to stock. Um, so this card's a secure out to anything that's level than uh lower than level one in tandem with that card. So for that use, I wanted to bring it up. Um. Okay. I think it's a 3 out of 5. It's not quite niche. I don't know how much it'll be played, but it's a solid option. Fair enough, fair enough. 3 out of 5 it is. A little bit of disagreement. That's what the re-review is for. Next card, 0. Holy moly, that's like a change of scenery. Oh no, it's not the same art. At pay 1 at the start of your Encore step. If you do not have any other rested characters in your front row, you may pay cost if you do rest this. And it's a level zero bottom deck bomb. So reverse the character if they're tries to reverse y'all. Uh this is a straight up reprint of the um Sio Bomb from Bang Dream. It's even in the same color. It it was a solid card for Bang Dream back then. Like even it was quite a quite a staple actually. It was running like a lot of decks. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So I think I don't think it's any worse now. It's pretty solid. Um, I mean, I think it might be a little bit worse now. I don't mm. really want to attack with this card as much if I'm going second. But yeah, mm, it's still a solid true. card. Um, everyone There's knows. also more. Oh, sorry. You should. Oh no, 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 sorry. I, I finished. I finished. Oh, okay. I was just saying. Uh, there's definitely more of those. Uh assists that like um give on reverse like stock kick or clock kick yeah and that that this card definitely does not like playing against those cards for sure so um what's your rating uh it's good three out of five um if it was 2017 i would have given it a four or five but i think right now there's maybe a few other cards that you would play over this so currently a three Gotcha, nice gotcha. Kaiki, by the way. Next card. Zero, zero, Kogane. When this is reversed, you may reveal up to three cards from the top of your deck. If you reveal one or more, choose up to one music character from among them. Add it to your hand. Send it to the waiting room. Send the rest to the waiting room and discard one. That's level zero shift. TD card? Wow. Uh, This is one of six blue shifts. I think it's six. I actually went through the uh, second count, but uh, I didn't count the blue shifts. But I think that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this is one of the better shifts in the set. Actually, I. Uh, it's not obviously not like a great, not the greatest card to like have to want to keep playing over and over again. But it's like a really nice, like, costless hand fix. Um, that's super, and the shift is like. It makes it so it's like super safe to clock too. Like it makes your hand overall like better over like as the game goes on. Um, I am... do you... Oh yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty high. Uh, my rating on this card's pretty high. Um, shift on a card that you might not always want to use, but 
just being able to access this card without using stock somewhere down the line can be really powerful. Um, being just on reverse Reza is good. Um, 2k is also a nice number where it's small enough to get reversed by your opponent's beaters, but not so small that it can't reverse your opponent's utility. Mm. I'm just kind of very appreciative of this card being in the TD as well, because it doesn't need a booster double rest space, so uh, I'd like to give this card a 4 out of 5. Yeah, I think I totally agree, actually. It's, uh... Notably, it's blue. I think it, it has to be... If you shipped with this card, it has to be a blue card that it swaps yeah. with. So yeah. obviously only really playable in decks that have blue cards. But, you know... Very generically good card. And I would agree with the rating, yeah. Probably four means more stars to buy. Kind of hard. Whoa! You could just you could select all of them together. I'm a I'm a scrub. I'm a scrub. Three two you you got during your opponent's turn when you take damage and you do not cancel. If this card is in the front row, look at the top card of your deck. Either put it on top of your deck or into your waiting room, and it has an encore. Uh, I think this is pretty much just mostly a standby target. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Interestingly, this card is taxed to 1-5 for being a level 3 with Hand on Call, which mm. we haven't seen in a while. But mm. yeah, uh, it's something I wanted to use with Standby, but as I said earlier, the Standby power lines are a bit awkward. Uh, not quite high in this deck, so having a 9-5 front row might not be good enough. But kind of a card to watch out for. Sadly, I don't think I, think I can think of a deck where I can play this card in, so I'll give it a 1 for the moment. Even though I picked it up. Sounds good, sounds good. It is a little bit weak, I feel it too. Right along. Oh, we're on to the booster cards. 3-2 Kogane. If you have four or more music characters, this card gets minus one level in hand. During your turn, if you have two or more other music characters, it gets plus 2,000 power, making it swing for 11,000. Discard one card. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost if you do. Put the bottom card of your clock into dock. We've seen this kind of card before. We'll probably keep seeing this kind of card in the future. It's like a super playable, super generic early play healer. Probably goes in most decks that run red, honestly. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is one of only two early play heals that this set has as well. Oh, wait, is the uh, other so one really... the... Is the other the one other that you are? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So... Uh, that kind of elevates this card's status a bit more in this set, for good or for bad. Um, but yeah, there's not very much new about this card per se, so uh, I'd say I'd give it a 4 out of 5, based on the fact that it's basically the only early play heal that you want to use. Yeah, and it's a solid one. Like, the condition's great, yeah. so... Yeah. yeah. Moving right along, 0-0 zero, zero, Kiriko. Pay one, discard one. Search your deck for a music character. So it's a pay one, just one search. Uh, then it has level zero shift. Uh, so we talked a bit about the Kogane that had the on reverse Rize that had shift. Uh, I think a lot of that applies here, but of course this is obviously like a, a worse effect. Like this is just a worse card objectively compared to that card. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's just fine. I don't know. It's definitely worse than the Kogane, for sure. Um, yeah, this is a card that you're going to use fewer times per game than Kogane. Or at least you're happier to use Kogane more times per game. But uh, just having a shift on utility cards is nice. Mm -hmm. So I'd say this is a 3 out of 5. This is red. So I want to just yeah. want to note that there's actually only three red shifts in the entire set. This is one of three. Yeah. Um, which is notable, which is really nice the way they like put this together, because the Kogane from before is blue. So you have like if you're running these cards in your deck, you have a lot of coverage, like for as far as like ships compatibility, which I find mm -hmm. will probably end up. I think people will look more fondly on these cards, like as like 
people get more experience with the with the deck. Yeah. Fair enough, Ken. Anything you want to add to that? No, I I think that's it. I'll just give the three out of five rating and move on. Fair enough. Next up, one zero Kogane. During your turn, this card gets plus one thousand power. Climax combo with the gate below when this card attacks. If the gate is in the climax here, and you have another music character, mill two, then choose up to one level extra lower character, lower music character from your waiting room, and add it to your hand. Um, it's a cigarettes combo. I don't actually like these that much, but uh, I can. I have to grudgingly admit that some like. You know, if, if you need a red plusing combo on like the climax you want, and this is the climax you want, then you have to run it. Yeah, uh, this is the only double combo in booster. Uh, I don't oh. like the first att effect because it's smaller my opponent's turn. I don't like the second effect because it randomly mills my deck. Yeah, uh, I do want to. The, the, yeah, I do want to say though, um, Antica as a unit has a lot of depth control slash mill power so i think you may be able to manage your deck state in a way that when you use the convert won't majestically flop on your face mm -hmm. but yeah this card's not great by any measure it's just probably playable in unit cop decks because it's the only level one combo in antica that you want to play it's free so i'll give this card a two out of five by virtue of being unique in certain aspects like the trigger and unit fair enough fair enough watch out for this effect everyone the mill is mandatory i've lost games yeah. because these kind of effects are mandatory shout outs to so jash who is the biggest rule shark no <laughs> he's in the chat too let's uh move along but yeah it's mandatory effect guys you got a mill if you're using the combo i'm not in play you have to use the effect next up one one yuika uh, it's a level assist uh and uh it has auto ability this ability activates up to once per turn when you use shift this turn this gains the following ability at the start of your attack phase choose up to two of your characters this turn they gain the following ability auto pay one when this card attacks you may pay the cost of you during the trigger step of this attack perform trigger check twice um i i I don't know if I like this card or if I don't like this. I honestly don't know. Um, it's like <laughs> you, you put it in the Antica deck for sure, but like uh, I don't think it's good enough to play it outside that deck. Help me out here, Ken. Um, yeah. Um, no, I, I agree with how it's uh, only going to be played in Antica, but even then, it's really hard to judge how good this card is exactly without having without actually playing it, mm -hmm. which I haven't done because I haven't gotten my cards yet. Um, but yeah, it's difficult. But I think you wouldn't play more than one in your deck because drawing multiples of this card isn't that. Good. Oh yeah, Wait, you don't um, want to give it's four like, characters. It's, yeah, to yeah, it's really hard to give this card a numerical rating. Because I haven't played with it before, but I think I'll give it a three just because of the ambiguity. You don't want, you don't want to take a know. bigger risk? We can, we can go with two because you only see it in your unit deck. Mm -hmm. Are you are you rescinding yeah, so that to a two? 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Two it is. These are the cards that these are honestly the cards that people can be very, very wrong about in retrospect. I'm excited to see what sh ends up developing in the future. Next up, 2-1 Kiriko. Uh, assist plus 2,000 to level 3 or higher characters in front of this card. Alarm if this is on the top of your clock. And you have four more music characters at the start of your climax phase. You may put the top card of your deck into the clock. Uh, it's a Lindy. It's, it's, uh, I think this is quite nice, actually. Um, the reason I say that is because um, the alarm, this, these assists are usually dead once they hit the board, like the first copy. Uh, and the alarm makes it so it's like kind of live if you happen to draw it. Obviously, you'd have to, you'd have to clock it, but like... Uh, and it's not the best, you know, utility effect that we've seen on assists like this. Um, 
Yeah. Um, I usually want my assist to have more effects than just give power, so if I were to rate this card purely as an assist, it's not great, but I think you'd have to look at this card primarily as a Lindy clone, so a stock charger if it's on the top of your club. Uh, due to the timing, you can shift into this card with one of the three red shifts in the set and still get the effect, unlike some of the other alarm abilities. True. But, um, I don't know, well, you'd obviously play it in Antico. I don't know whether the other generic decks require stock, so, uh, it's a bit ambiguous exactly how good this card is as well, but I'll give it a three for the moment. I think at the very least you'd have to run like um so there's only one there's probably only one decently playable shit red shift. You'd have to be playing that card too, right? Probably. Um I don't mind Well, I, I don't mind the drop search as like a one or maybe probably just one of. And I don't mind the other level two red shift card either as a mm -hmm. one of. But the other the brainstorm, which we'll see later down the line, won't probably see much play so um at most you'd be playing two types and probably only two redshift cards anyway yeah. fair enough um you'd be popping this card from your hand more often than not all right anyways three it is move right along next card is the zero zero sakuya as level oh, zero shift and then brainstorm flip over the top four cards of your deck and put them into waiting room for each climax revealed Perform the following action. Choose one of your characters in the waiting room. Add it to hand. Choose one card in your hand and put it into waiting room. Out of curiosity, do they have a specific order that they put the shift effect in? Because this one's above the effect. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But I guess they... Um, they might be, actually. Uh, I think... I don't disagree with what Ken said when we were evaluating the Kiriko, which is that this probably won't see that much play. Yeah. Um, you might play it in the unit cup deck because it's mm. the only brainstorm in Antico. If you really need to get out of bad deck scenarios and your opponent doesn't feel like feeding oh, you no. reverses, oh, no. maybe your answer. Oh, uh, no. Aside from that, the usual um, cards with text that you might want to use down the line with incidental shift are okay, but yeah, you don't play this card very often. I think you'd give it a one. But you'll probably play one copy in unit cup decks, even though it's a one. I see, I see. So very niche to the unit deck. Yeah. But so niche, in fact, that it even hits down to the line of borderline unplayable. <laughs> I'm down for that. Anyways, next card. Yeah. What? Unplayable. Sorry. It's not unplayable, but yeah, I don't imagine that. Um, I don't think this deck has enough individually strong cards to allow not particularly strong card like this to exist within its 50 card deck fair enough fair enough that's the point right along one zero ma me ma 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 mommy mommy me mommy me when this card is placed on stage from hand the number of your other music characters two or higher you may draw a card if you do discard a card and when this card is placed on stage from hand choose one of your music characters it gets plus 1500 power until end of the um this is a solid power pump with uh, costless discard out. Uh, it's like a nice, it's an okay, not a nice, but like an okay filler slot, I think, if you need power. I'd love this card if it was a level zero with 1k power instead, but for some reason it's a level one. And yeah. I really like that. <laughs> um, I think it's good in decks where digging for your combo is incredibly valuable, so maybe the deck or uh, any deck playing the level one gold bar combo which we'll visit later but uh, i'd give this card a two out of five it's not always going to be a good card because it doesn't fight for board and draw one ditch one is kind of volatile you concur tom i think you do based on your yeah, silence yeah yeah, yeah. 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 You do two one yuika put the top card of your deck into clock when this card is placed on stage from your hand you may pay the cost if you do this turn it gets plus 4,500. Then when it attacks a level 3 character or higher, it gets 6,000 powerful power. And it has shift. Oh, it's huge. Huge. Level 0 shift. Yeah. Um, 
That's really nice in, in, in this set, by the way. They gave, they gave like all of the cards level zero shift, I think. Yeah, I mean, everything has yeah. shift level zero if it has shift at all. Yeah. Thanks, Guildy Crown. Level yeah. three just sucks. <laughs> what the hell is that a real card? Yeah. Well, probably a mistake in the. <laughs> to print that. Uh, yeah, line. I might have this card though. Yeah. Um, I kind of poo pooed this card earlier, but, you know, I mean, it's like situationally like powerful card that you would play if you need it, which, um, you know, as Ken so aptly put it, you know, those kinds of cards are often enhanced more by shift. Um, so I think this is, this is all right. It's, you'd play it for the shift probably, because I think there are other cards in this slot that you might play before this, but yeah. I just got a notification from someone. I think it's my local Guilty Crown player trying to attack oh me God. for my statements. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's nice that if this card falls into your clock zone at level 1 or something, you can just hold on to it for when you need to use it on your next or next turn or the turn after that. Um, I don't know how often you want to hit yourself with full 5 power, but Yes, you can if you want to get your opponent for 17k. From that, it's still just a 12 5 against a level 3, so. Yeah. The card's nice. Uh, what's I'll your score on it? It's good card. 2 out of 5. Don't think that. I'll, I'll go with 2, yeah. Um, I don't think red is a huge color in this set, so. I'll go with 2, yeah. Fair enough, right. fair enough. Do it is for now. Uh seems very reasonable let's right along to this zero zero sakuya discard a card when this card is placed on stage from hand you may pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one zero zero sakuya on the right we haven't talked about it yet place it on stage in any slot and shuffle your deck afterwards when your other music character attacks this turn this card gets plus 1500 power uh so the card it searches is really is like quite good i think so I don't know, like, uh, as we mentioned, as we talked, discussed a little bit with the, um, the Vent Bonder, it, this card is, like, intimately tied to the evaluation of, um, the card it's referencing, uh, because I don't think the second effect is worth any, worth that much at all, honestly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, th this card's rating is tied to the card we haven't reviewed yet. And unfortunately, that card is also one of those cards which is hard to evaluate without actually without yeah. having played the card. Um, yeah, there's not very much. Well, I guess being able to discard a card that's not tied to a character is a bit nice in a deck that's True. almost always going to be playing pants combo. It's also but, costless, which uh, is nice. I appreciate that. Yeah. For the moment, I'll call this card a 2 out of 5. Because you're not gonna play that many copies of it. Mm -hmm. And it's only of of it. yeah, and you only play it if you're playing the card yeah. references, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go with two out of five for now. Sounds good. Two it is. I'm moving right along. Two one, mommy me. Alarm if this card is on the top card, of top of your clock, and you have four or more music characters at the start of your climax phase. Draw two and discard two, and it's a three thousand power backup. Um, I don't know how to rate these cards. Like we've seen that we've seen this exact profile before, but I, I just never played with them, and I wore it, and I've never had like the opportunity. Just like, I don't, what do you, what do you, what what are your thoughts on this kid? I'm just kind of drawing uh, a blank. Actually, I don't really like that you have to draw two cards if it's the top card of your clock, because sometimes you're at some point at level two, you decide that you want to heal down. It doesn't really matter because that card heals from the bottom, but if this card just happens to be the top card of your clock, you now have to either decide to draw two, discard two, or clock draw two. Um, yeah. It's also a huge shocking opportunity because the draw two is not mandatory. The draw two is technically not mandatory, but the discard two is. So if you go into your attacks and your opponent points it out later, you'll probably just have to discard two cards, and I don't want to deal with that either. Um, it's fair enough. <laughs> Incidentally, <laughs> it does let you discard two cards for standby, which someone brought up to me. <laughs> um, 
But well, you're clocking I your usually have another one discarding a card. I don't want to clock a backup just to discard cards, so uh, I, I'll just give this card a harsh one out of five. Yeah. Harsh one. All it's right. lit. It's a harsh one. Three, two. Oh, this card art is beautiful. Three, two, mommy, mommy me. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may heal. Climax combo. Pay one, discard a music character. When this card attacks, we have the pants climax pictured below in the climax area. You may pay the cost. If you do reveal the top six cards of your deck, shuffle your deck, then deal X damage to your opponent. X equals the number of cards among them with alarm or shift. It has shift level zero shift. Uh, I feel like this is pretty focused for an Antica build because I don't know that you'd ever play enough alarms or shifts to make this playable in other decks. It heals though. What? What? What do you do? You agree, Ken? Or hello? Uh oh. Wait. Hello, Ken. We can't. Are you? Ken, we can't hear you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can we get some stinkies in the chat? <laughs> Please no. Hello? I just heard something. Yeah, wait, hello? Hello. Hey Ken, you wait. were uh, kind of hello? talking to hello? yourself in the room. I mean, I do that all the time in my yeah. own room, but it's kind of awkward doing it live, man. <laughs> Sorry, so, uh... yeah. wait, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> we can yeah. Hear you. loud and clear. Okay, cool. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think you'd play this card outside of uh, Antica unit decks. Unless you're memeing like I was maybe eight hours ago. <laughs> Check my Twitter for that. <laughs> um, this I wasn't really big on this card when I first saw it, because it doesn't gain power, putting it at 9-5, and it can't discard climaxes despite comboing on pants for some reason. But um, the power issue is sort of solved with one of the cards that we're going to see later so for the moment it's only ever going to be played in antica decks i'm pretty sure so i'll give it a two out of five but not particularly because it's a bad card it's just it's locked into a certain deck type yeah so the card it is very specific to the unit deck it makes a lot of sense uh next card zero zero sakuya during your turn all your Three, two, uh, the two cards basically pictured below uh, get plus 2,000 power. We'll see the other one later. Uh, pay one, rest this one. You use shift, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one music character. Among them, add it to your hand. Put the rest into waiting room. Uh, so, this is another card I think probably just goes in the Antica deck. Uh... Because of both effects are pretty specific. Like, uh, the first one is literally just for Antica, but the second one is also basically because it's only procking off shifts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, This is the level zero Sakuya that the red swimsuit Sakuya brings out, just so we know. Yeah. It's a cool card. It seems to be a cool card in Antica, but again, uh, it's hard to judge without having played it. It partially solves the issue of Mamimi being tiny on offense because she gives a whopping 2k on your turn. You can get 4k by playing two of this down and Mamimi will sing for... What's that? 14-5 before? So 14-5 with combo. Um, it's pretty big. It'll probably force a counter out of most lanes. But yeah, um, it's basically unit locked. I'll give it a 2 out of 5, but it's a core cool card if you're playing Antica, so may as well get the cards while you can. Definitely a very cool effect, uh, but uh, definitely very unique locked here. Moving right along, we have this zero zero Mamimi. Uh, this ability activates once per turn when you use shift. Choose one of your opponent's front row characters until the end of the turn. It gets minus 1000 power. Act ability, pay one clock, the top card of your deck, rest it. Switch your deck for up to one character whose name includes. Okay, I'm gonna 
Kogade, Mami, Misakuya, Kiriko, Yuika. Show what your opponent added to hand and shuffle your deck afterwards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I take tips in the hat, guys. Uh, I thought this card was a lot... This card read a lot better to me than it actually was. Uh, but fortunately, our guest reminded me that this is an alarm-focused tech. So this is like... Like is a complete non po with like, because this this set does like this deck will have this have worthwhile alarms so it's like, uh, yeah I, and, yeah. yeah, you probably clocked yourself to use an alarm effect and now for some reason you have to clock yourself with this card and it messes everything up. Um, I don't feel like the minus one k power effect is particularly powerful either. I'd rather just have two, suck two of the previous sakya in the back so. Card is unit locked and even then probably not very good, so I'll give it a one out of five. So um, I like Mommy. Turns like off your deck's main flavor. Get a one from Ken if you do that. <laughs> Moving right along. Uh oh. Did I skip a card? I hope I didn't. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, this is 91. So yeah. Zero, zero, Yuika. If you do not have another music character, this does not stand during your stand phase. The alarm, if this is on the top of your clock at the start of your climax phase, choose one of your characters and it gains the following ability. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may send that character to the bottom of your opponent's. Don't think this card is good enough to be played outside of. Uh, this is, I feel like this is just here to fluff alarm numbers for the finisher, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Um, I don't understand why they put this card in the same set as the rings there that lets you, your opponent, lets you send your opponent's cards to stock if you reverse them. Uh, yeah. You can, you, you can play this in unit cup. You probably kind of have to. It's a 2 out of 5 just because of that. If it didn't have that, it would be a 1. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, moving along, we have this 3-2 Sakuya, the other card that the 0-0 pumps 2,000 power to. When this card is placed on stage from hand until the end of opponent's turn, it gets plus 4,500 power and your opponents and you cannot use backups in this lane from hand. Alarm, discard one card if this card is on top of your clock and you have five or more hands. At the start of your main phase, you may pay cost. If you do look at up to four cards from the top of your deck, Choose up to one music character from among them, show it to your opponent, add it to hand, send the rest to waiting room. Uh, this is mega huge. It'll be 15-5. Free 15-5 uh, or even 16-5. It's the 14. Oh. Uh, 14 right. on its own. Right, 16 yeah. if you have the back row. 17 yeah. if you have a climax. And then or, plus 15 for an edge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the alarm is like pretty good. It's like one of the better alarms. So, uh, but uh, do you think you'd ever play this outside of Antica? Um, I think it's playable as a one, maybe two of if you have blue and for some reason the uh the plus four the combo text is useful in your meta. Can turn off any board. Uh, you can fight for any medium-sized board without being worried about backups, and you can use events on defense. And this set has two events uh, with decent damage stopping abilities. So, yeah, I think this card is actually play playable outside of an mono antico if you can appreciate the first line. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and. Another n sort of nice thing is that you don't have to discard this card for Mulligan because you can clock it in your hand. Your hand quality will probably be better anyway. If you, That's a good point. Yeah. So yeah. small, small trick. Don't discard this card for Mulligan unless you have to. Mm. Pro tip. Um. Yeah. So let's go with three. This card's not niche enough, but I don't. I don't know if what deck would immediately jump to playing this card either. So yeah, I'll, I'll say it's a three. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Be it is. Moving right along. Zero, zero, Kogane. Put the top card of your deck into your clock. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one, two, zero, Chibi Lantica in your waiting room and add it to hand. The event will review in a bit. Then pay one when this card attacks. If you have four or more cards in clock, 
You may pay the cost if you do during the attack, perform trigger check two times. Uh, right off the bat, I think clock bonds to a level two card are just inherently awkward. Um, if the event is like really good, then sure. But like, I feel like if the event is anything less than like Miku tier, it's probably <laughs> not that great, honestly. <laughs> Uh, the trigger, the, the twin drive is fine, but you know. Um, I'm curious why there's a condition on the twin drive because twin, generic twin drive is a 500 tax effect, so that doesn't actually need to be there. Um, does it actually yeah, use power? Uh, does it, is it, did it get taxed 500 power for this? Well, if you look at the. Oh, wait, no, no. Maybe it does get taxed. Sorry, no, yeah, that, that you're right. No, it does get 500 more power because of that because generic twin drive is okay. 1k. Okay, okay. You know what I just said? Um, yeah, er everything Tom said is right. Uh, this card's kind of awkward. You'd only play it if you played Chibi Antico. I don't even think you played Chibi Antico. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Let let's let's just give this card a one. Be a bit harsh today. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm down. Long zero zero Kiriko. Put the top card of your deck into clock. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost, which is pay one if you do draw a card. Discard one card, send this to waiting room, choose one music character from your waiting room, add it to hand. Uh... I think there's a... I think the first effect is pretty bad. I think the second effect is, like, very... Uh... Uh... Situational. And I think this isn't even the best card with that second line of text. In the set, anyways. So it's like, mm, uh, do you have to run this in Antica? Uh, I don't think so. No. Well, again, yeah. it has that issue that you're clocking yourself after you probably set up your alarm. But I think this card might be okay in standby decks because you can hit yourself and then discard a card to standby out. Oh, no, that's a good point. Um, I was there is that. some le loose level of synergy between the two effects in that if you draw badly, you could just sack this and discard that card to get something else that you want. It's not amazing, but it makes two not particularly individually good effects kind of work a bit better with each other. But yeah, I don't even know if you'd play this in standby. It's just a possibility, so I'd give it a 2 out of 5. Fair enough, fair enough. Moving right. Looks really cool. Zero zero Yuika. When you when this card is placed on stage from hand, choose one of your opponent's front row characters. This turn it gets minus one thousand power. It has level zero shift. Let's keep this short. I'm pretty sure it's not that good. Unless it is. Uh no, it's not that good. There's a way better you can shift. <laughs> you can shift this card with the with the one out of five mummy me or minus one K and then you can play this and then oh! minus one K again and <laughs> this is a terrible. <laughs> this, this card sucks. It's a one out of five. Let's move on. All right, all right, all right. One, I heard. Yeah. All right. It's a one. <laughs> one zero Kogane. When this card attacks, if you have an alarm or shift on the top of your clock, and the battle opponent's level is higher than your opponent's level, this turn it gets plus six thousand power. And as a alarm ability, if this card is on the top of your clock and you have three or more music characters at the start of your climax phase. Choose a character to give it 2,000 power. Um... I... This is a very... So the... This is a very specific card, I think. Um, yeah. As far as timing. It's like... It's like yeah. super, like, tight. So I don't know if it's... But... So... Yeah, I don't know if it's that desirable, honestly. The alarm is, like, kind of whatever, but... Um... You might have to play it in Antica because it's like a decently playable alarm, I guess. Uh, but... I think it's well. It's obviously only playable in Antica. Um. Yeah. But uh, you're not playing this as a main attacker, but giving two K at the beginning of your climax phase in a deck that's not playing standby, so you can just keep punching over your opponent's characters, is not terrible. Uh, hitting 10-5 against 
standby tutus or early plays is also kind of okay if you can get a little bit more power. So it's not bad as like a one or two of in, in a unit deck. I'd give it a two out of five because it's a unit deck specific card, but it's not bad either. Fair enough, fair enough. Two, five it is. Next card, one zero Kiriko. If you have another zero zero Sakuya picture, we've already been through it. It's the uh, pay one when you farm our top four card. In your back row, this card gets plus 2,000 power at level zero shift. Uh, Obviously, it probably only goes in Antica deck, but I think this is one of the more worthwhile blue shifts. Um, This is like solid. It's not like the best, but it's like you, you could play it down and you shift into it. And it'll be 6k when it attacks, which is not bad. Um, you can put a level support behind it, it'll be 7k both turns, which in a unit cup format, I believe it would be a decent number. <laughs> uh, but it does what it says, it's not actively good or bad, it's two out of five. Yeah. I like it, I like it. Right along. Oh, it's the two zero Chibi Lantica Antica, sorry. Uh... Again, both players mill the top three cards of their deck. If the number of level one or lower characters you milled is greater than the number of level zero or lower characters you milled, your opponent milled, you may draw a card. I love gambling cards. This is a five for me. What do you guys think? Dude, this is not. Dude. Send it to stock as well. Dude, house is not favored here. Uh, <laughs> like, so, like, at level two, you're way more likely to mill zeros uh, than your opponent or like you're, you're just wait i don't know no it's um <laughs> yeah I, I mean so it's not a when great plus one was, <laughs> oh when this card was revealed i read the text and say hey this is maybe that card that lets you interact with your opponent's compression which this deck was looking for and then I realized that this card isn't a brainstorm like almost every other card that yeah. does this. Uh, namely the Summer Pockets one from recent memory. So uh, if this card was a brainstorm and your opponent left three cards in their deck and they had like two or three Climax in there, uh, those cards would stay out of their deck. But if you use this one, it just goes back in. So your opponent doesn't really get punished for doing that. Um, yeah, the fact that it's not a like real plus and everything is just as Tom said. I don't want to play this card. I think it's a one out of five. Sag, no gambling tonight, boy. All right. <laughs> I believe that is. Oh, okay. I'm a liar. Zero zero Kogane and Mamimi and Sakuya and Yuiko and I don't know, I'm about to fall asleep. Oh, when this card attacks, choose one of your level two or higher characters. It gets plus. 3,000 power until end of turn, level 0 shift. Um, it's a lot of power for level 2s yeah. or higher. Um, not bad. It, it's a decent shift for the little unit cup. I don't know. I don't think you'd play this. Maybe you'd play this in some other decks if you really, really need that 3k power. Uh -huh. I don't think there's really a scenario where you'd like to play a 1-5 character down just to get 3k to a level 2. Um, like, you could play Shimaka Zakai. Yeah, it doesn't give 3k, it only gives 2k, but at least it has a decent body at level 0, and it can pump other characters that aren't level 2 as well, so... Uh, I really don't know when you'd use this card. I think it's a 1 out of 5. Fair enough. Maybe we spent even time on this 1 out of 5 here. Uh, moving right Sorry. along, we have this. Oh my goodness, was zero Kiriko and Mami Me and Kogane and Sakuya and Yuika. Alarm, if this is on the top of your clock at the start of your main phase, you can swap one character in your waiting room with this card. Wait, why am I reading the alarm effect? <laughs> but it has a backup plus 1500. So, so generic, can just what's the rating? Um, this card can swap into any alarm that you like from your bin. It's a 1 5 backup, which is an after the Kiriko. It's unit cop specific. It's a two out of five. Fair enough. And uh, if I am right, oh, I, yeah, that's all she wrote for Antica. Um, I think it's a solid pillar. 
like Wait, tracker. Sorry, I'm completely muted. I don't want to. Whatever. I'm not going to reread oh. the effect. I was muted. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I'll just reread the effect for posterity purposes. <laughs> I look like a moron. One zero Kaho. When your climax is placed on the climax area, this turn this gains the following ability. Auto, when this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may put the top card of your deck into stock. When this attacks, if you have two or more other music characters, this turn, this gets plus 2,000 power. I'm sorry, Twitch chat. Uh, yeah, so pretty generic 6-5, yellow attacker. Um, stock's nice. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say about this card, Ken? I feel like it's pretty... Pretty simple. No, 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 I think that's it. Um, yeah. It's reasonably big. It makes stock. It's a nice secondary attacker. It's a three out of five. Good. Next up, zero zero Rinzi. Rinzi, am I pronouncing that right, Ken? Sure, Rinzi. Ken. I think it's Rinze. Rinze. When this attacks, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck. It's Choose Rinze. one card from among them. Put it on top of your deck, and the rest to waiting room. This card attacks if you have one or less other characters. You may mill one. If that character is a level zero or lower character, place it in the back row slot. Uh, I like these. You know, uh, it's a nice level zero cosmos plus most of the time. I think, yeah. 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 Uh, I think that's about it. It's a three out of five card. Yeah. Next up, 1-0 Rinzi. When this card is placed on stage from hand, this gets plus 1,500 power until end of turn. And it's a pay one dish one search for a music character. Rinzi, sorry. Uh, a 6k drop searcher. Have to be playing green, which is relevant, but I don't know if that's bad. Yeah, I mean, solid, I guess. You might play it along. You might play it alongside the level one green means that combo in the booster just as a way to get the card mm. in your hand and have a decent ish attacker on the side uh yeah there's not much to say about it oh well i'm glad it's in the td because it might have been a mm. double right in the booster like it was <laughs> Saya, so shout out yeah. Saya. Two out of five card, but... yeah <laughs> yeah it's a two out of five card for sure f's in the chat for grisaya boys moving on we have first double art zero zero kaho Pay two when this card is placed on stage from hand. You may pay the cost. Search your deck for up to one. Climax that has the same name as a climax in your waiting room. Add the hand. Sure. Only shuffle your deck afterwards. Brainstorm for each climax hit. Choose a character from your waiting room and add it to hand. Uh, it's our tap self salvage brainstorm, which is nice. Uh, I think the first effect is pretty situational, though. Um, Pain two is a lot. Two is a lot of stuff. Uh, I didn't like most or all of the previous cards which had that first effect of searching a climax, but I think for the first time I've seen a card which has a secondary effect where it kind of just fits naturally in the deck and you can use the last of the climax searching if you like it, so it's a nice 3 out of 5. All is solid. Moving along, 1-1 one, one, Kaho. Uh, when this is reversed, the battle opponent's level is higher than your opponent's level. Put that character to stocks and to the bottom card of your opponent's stock to waiting room. You know, typical anti chain bomb level one. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I think you'll know if you need this card. I think everybody knows what this card does. Uh, it's nice that it's level one. But, yeah, I mean, what would you rate this kind of I think probably like uh, a. It's a two out of five. You yeah. probably only use it in unit cup because you have to. I don't know why this card's a rare, but <laughs> it just is. Fair enough. Fair enough. Next up, three two, Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. Discard one card Jury. when this card is placed on stage Jury. from hand. Jury. You may pay the cost if you do. Put the top card of your clock into stock. Climax combo with the shot below when this card attacks. If you have the shot climax in play this turn, it gets five thousand power. Then reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a music character, deal X damage to your opponent. X equals the level of the card. 
There's so many huge cards in this set, level three. Um, so the, the climax combo normally is kind of bad, but there's some really nice synergies that make it work. Yeah. Um, I would like this card if it a lot more if it wasn't on shot, but being able to <laughs> punch over anything your opponent plays, um, while burning your opponent is pretty good um it doesn't use any resources aside from the one you had to discard to heal if you did heal so uh it lets you do a lot more next turn if you don't end up killing your opponent then you can use defensive counters you can play new level threes uh this card is pretty exciting aside from the shot part uh i'll give it a let's be a bit generous here and give it a four out of five it's a ken four let's go poggers uh yeah for sure i agree with what Ken's saying a uh, four it is for now. Oh, moving right along. Uh, zero zero Rinze. All your other music characters get plus five hundred power. Rest this. Choose one of your characters this turn. It gains the following ability: auto. When the battle opponent of this card is reversed, you may send it to stock. If you do, send the bottom card of your opponent's stock into the waiting. Uh, this is a pretty specific effect. I think you're like targeting specific cards when you play this. Um. It's the first deck is pretty nice though, like uh, for like a back row kind of card. So, um, I like that you can always remove your card, your opponent's card, because it sends to stock as opposed to clock. Yeah, like previous variants. Um, I think if your deck appreciates a global five and there's enough cards that you don't want to send to the waiting room or, or you don't want to leave on the board, then this card is pretty good. Um, I'm just a big fan of this effect, so I'll give it a 4 out of 5. Sounds good. 4 it is. Moving on. 0-0 zero, zero, Chiyoko. When this card attacks, choose one of your other music characters. This turn, it gets X power. X is 500 times the other music characters you have. Shimakai, that's what people call it. Keep it short and sweet. Ken, what would you kind of rate this kind of card? I'm just going to skip Tom. Uh, it's a unit cup. That, it's a unit cup card. It's a 2 out of 5. <laughs> Fair nothing enough. special sorry man uh zero Very zero good. natsuha all your opponent's characters gain the following ability encore pay two it's a 4k keep this one simple again what do you guys think? or what does ken think uh it has a role it's not fantastic it's a two out of five fair enough moving on two one yuri i'm pronouncing that right right by the way Jury? Jury. Jury. It jury. It's, it's Jury. Sorry, man. Jury. A little bit Middle Eastern there. Yuri. You have two or more other music characters. This gets plus 1500 power and gains the following ability and encore. When this card attacks this get this gets plus X power until the end of the turn. X equals the number of your other music characters times a thousand. Tax at 12k, I think. Uh yeah, 12k. Yeah. I think it's all right. I don't know if it's not that desirable, I think, but it's like fine. It's as a standalone, a good card to just keep beating over your opponent's characters with, but I can't imagine a deck right now which would actively want to play this card. So probably a unit cop card at two out of five. Moving along, 0-0 zero, zero, Rinze. When a Climax is placed on your Climax area, this card gets plus 1500 power, then reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is level 0 or lower, then it's a stock. Um, I, I don't know. I don't even think you can uh, play this in the unit deck. Probably not. I wish... I wish this card had a back row effect instead. Because <laughs> usually you just play this, hope the top card of your deck's a level zero, and then it dies. If you use a card to top check, you're probably like making another awkward lane as well. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I'm not big on this card. Uh just give it a one out of five now, but I'd like to be proof wrong. Can you use this effect in the back row, to be clear? You can, right? Yeah. yeah. You can, so but you can play the 42 level zero deck. Check one. Fair enough. One it is, one it is. Just wanted to make sure for you know, the audience. 
Next up, mm. we got this 2 1 Natsuha. For each of your other music characters, it gets plus 1000 power. Climax combo with the shot below. It's a shot deck question mark. Uh, if this is in the front row, search your deck for up to one music character, show it to your opponent, add it to hand, and shuffle your deck. Uh, I like this card in the context of um, if you're playing a deck with that level three we talked about earlier, because it's the same climax, right? So you're not really like. Yeah, it's, it's like a climax. solid. Yeah, it's a solid level two attacker, and it has like a pretty nice effect with the climax combo if you have the shot to play, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps up the pressure and resources and damage because uh, if you slam the climax, you get your hand up. Your opponent has to deal with a 10k. Um, yeah, it it it's definitely going to see play in any deck playing that level three combo. Probably won't see play in any other deck, but yeah, uh, it fills this role pretty well. We'll give it a three out of five. A uh, 2-1 Chiyoko, your other character in the front row center slot gets plus 1500 power. Climax combo, send this to waiting room. When the bar is placed on your climax area, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one 3-2 Rinze in your hand and place it on stage in this card slot. Let's just keep this simple because we haven't even looked at the Rinze yet. It's all in the right here. But just say what in context of the Rinze, what would you give it, Ken, for now? Ken. Uh -huh. I also need to add that the bar combo is the same combo as the level one combo in the set, but um, sure. because of that, I think this card's pretty playable, and I'll give it three out of five. Um, I'll touch on it later when we get to the ring there. Sure. No leaks. A little bit of a sneak peek. This one. Two one event. Uh, it's a counter. If you do not have a music character, you cannot play this from hand. You may discard a climax. If you do, choose one battling character. This turn, it gets it gains the following ability. This cannot deal damage to players. Ooh. Um, this wasn't played in Puyo Puyo. I, I don't think it will be played in any deck from the set, to be honest. Oh. So, yeah. I, I don't... Okay. Uh, I'm actually quite big on this card. Oh, okay. Uh, well, firstly, the the restrict the restriction where you have to have a music character is not a real restriction because if you don't have a music character, you can't even cast this card <laughs> from your hand during the counter step. <laughs> I think Puyo Puyo had a slightly more real restriction. Um, I'll have to read that again. But oh, was um, it? Oh, my bad then. It's yeah, it's nice with uh, it's nice with cards like Jury and the Alstrom area. Uh, level three combos, which you'll see later, which don't really use that many resources. It's only one stock and uh, an additional hand as well. So I think this is one of uh, one of the con considerations in defending. Mm. Uh, if you play gold bar in the pants as well, it's a lot easier to deal with those. Oh um, right, yeah. Don't True. I can't get an active herb yet, so I'll give it a three out of five for now. But I have high hopes. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I see. When I saw a gold bar combo, I thought immediately thought this card might be not that bad. And moving right along. 1-0 Rinze combos with gold bar. Is this the one that we saw? No, right? It's a different gold bar? Uh, no, it's, same, no, it's the same, same bar. Same bar. Same bar. Same so bar. it is the same yeah. gold bar. If you have two or more other music characters, this gets plus 1,000 power. Climax combo with the gold bar when it is placed in the climax area. If you have two or more other music characters this turn, this gets plus 2,000 power. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, this gains the following ability when it's frontal attack. You may return this to hand. This is really big for a level one combo. Yeah, it's, I think. it's like eight, it's like five. five? That is eight, really five, big. Turn. Um, I like that a lot for a card that has to live on offense. I think it's mm. it's, a, it's like a nice like package if you're playing this combo. Especially, there's some other cards yeah. that factor into this, but I think uh, this is like a fine combo for the deck. Yeah. Um, unlike the side kind of varying with just Twin Drive, this one doesn't. So it's a bit harder to keep using the gold block on over and over, but uh, fortunately, you do have other cards in it that can search you the gold block if you need to. And you do have other ways to connect. Um, you can use this to kill the stock with a level 3 in the unit cup deck, so I think all in all it's a pretty decent card. Um, I see some potential behind it even though even if it doesn't get used in the final meta deck, so I'll give it a 4 out of 5.
Fair enough, fair enough. Four what? out of five. Ooh. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Loses to the new Kurumi. Spoilers in the next set. I don't know, like four sets. Uh, zero, zero, Natsuha. All your other music characters get plus 500 power. Uh, discard Climax when your character trigger check reveals a <laughs> Climax. You may pay the cost if you do. Look at up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one card from among them and add it to Hans in the rest of the waiting room. It's discard any Climax, right? Yeah. Ooh. Um, this is pretty uh, good. Discard any Climax, yeah. Yeah. I think this is nice. Um, if you're... Obviously, if you're running, like, like Pants or Bar, probably. I don't know if you would play this in a deck that doesn't run those triggers, but, like, uh, I think it's a solid, like, back row for those, like, bar pants decks. Um, sadly, this title makes it difficult to run 8 pants or 8 go bar or a combo treasure, just due to how the combo, uh, what the combos attached to them are, but it's a nice card in design. I don't know if you play it in decks only playing four gold ball, four pants though, so I'll mm. have to give it a three out of five. Next up, zero, zero, Yuri. Discard one climax. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one music character from waiting room, add it to hand. This card's damage is canceled. You may send it to stock. It's, good. it's a nice card, you know, uh... Always appreciate yeah. uh, Ditch CX Salvages, and the second effect is just gravy. It's like yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, this card does what it says it does. Uh, let's give it a three out of five. All right. Fair enough. Next up, zero, zero, Chiyoko. When this card is placed on stage from hand, it gets plus 1500 power. A1 discarded Climax. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose one Climax from waiting room and add hand swapping Climaxes. Uh, I think Climax Swappers are generically like pretty useful. Uh, more useful in Pants or Bar decks, obviously. But um, I, I could see this being played in a lot of decks just because it's a Climax Swapper. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's nice that if you have to play this card down at level zero, it's still three five on the turn you play mm. it. So can punch over some oversizes and runner if it fails to run away. Mm -hmm. I forgot to mention, but there's a card in the TD with the same climax of effect, but is a global five. It may compete for slots with that, but um, yeah, this card's fine. Uh, I'll yeah. give it a three out of five. Fair enough. Here it is. Next up, zero zero Natsuha. If you have two or more other music characters, this card gets plus 1,000 power, and it has pay one twin drive. Uh, it's all right. It's like a. It's might be the best green filler at level one. I'm I'm not confident about that, but twin drive is nice on like cards like this that attack. Mm -hmm. But it's not that big. It's only 5k, so. We seem to have lost our Australian. Uh oh. Uh, oh, hello? I can't really think of a deck where you want to play this card. Fair enough. What would you rate it then? Hmm. Yeah, no problem. Uh oh. Badge can is a picture now. Hello? Oh, it like updated. Okay, well. You know, the difficulties of a guest from across the world, I guess. Oh, Ken, you're back? Oh! Keeps teasing us. <laughs> uh, am I back? Uh, hello? hello? Your camera's. Still frozen, still I think. Kind of it's like, yeah, it's like. I have to go back on my phone. Oh, 
Hello, hello, hello? Uh, Might be just, just catching up, I guess. I don't know. Because it's on a delay. Oh dear. Wait, sorry, am I... Okay. Um... He has, the prodigal son has returned. I feel like he's going to give it a one. Right, I don't cool. dis Hello? Am I back? Oh, he's yes. back. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay, so, um, sorry about that. I think the last All thing right. we heard from you is that you couldn't think of a deck that would play this card. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't think of a deck that will play this card. 5k is not very big either on offense or defense. Twin Drive individually doesn't really save you out of bad spots. Uh, I think I'll give this card a 1 out of 5, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. The art is a 5 out of 5, though. Um, yeah, the art's great. Next up, 3-2 Rinze. It's a level assist. Uh, when this card is placed, it heals. And when this card is placed on stage via the ability of the 2-1 Shioko, or when a climax is placed on the climax area, all of your other characters gain the following ability until the end of the turn. This card attacks look up to the two cards from the top of your deck. Choose one card among them, put it on top of your deck. And the rest to a waiting room. Uh, I think a big ticket synergy here is with the finisher that we talked about. The jury, you can like check for your burn. Basically, it's really it's like really sick for that. Uh, I like it because I. But apart from that, it's like really nice because I think this effect is just generically good at almost every point in the game when you're attacking with cards. Um. um yeah. It might get you into some sticky situations sometimes, but I think for the most part it's like if you happen to like change this into this at level two, it's like it's like fine. Um yeah. If you change into a level two, you most likely also have the level one combo running as well, so yeah. it functionally gives it twin drive in the sense that you dig the same number of cards for your next gold buy if you need it. Um yeah, this card's pretty good. I guess I just wish that the level assist part was a bit stronger, but everything else about it is logistic with the cards that it pairs with, so um, I'll give this card a 4 out of 5. Right. Uh, and just a reminder, this will heal if you uh, play with the Climax combo, because the um, oh, yeah. it comes from your hand. Yeah. yeah. Mm. If anybody's wondering. Fair enough. Weird, they haven't printed 1k level assist. Wow. Never I digress. Moving on, 3-2 Chiyoko, if you have two or less climaxes in your waiting room, this card gets minus one level in hand early play. It attacks at 11k power on your turn, and when it's placed, you may look at the top three cards of your deck, choose up to one, add it to hand, put the rest in waiting room. Uh, this card's alright. Uh, if you have a slot for it, like a second secondary early play, it's like fine. Um, apart yeah. from that, yeah, I mean... It's a pretty simple card. Uh, I wish it was big one of my opponent's turn, like the ones in SA mm. as well. But yeah, it, it's it's simple. It gets your next card. It attacks with decent power. You can early play it. Um, at the same time, I don't know what deck it goes in. Uh, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Fair enough. Let's next see. up, 1-0 Kaho. During your turn, your other character in your front row center slot gets plus 1,000 power. When this card becomes reversed, if this card's battle opponent is caught zero or lower, do the put their card in clock thing and then put that, uh, put your. <laughs> yeah, you just clock swap the character. Cost zero, yeah. cost zero clock bomb. Yeah. Cost zero clock bomb. Yeah, sorry, I'm tripping on my word. Uh, think, keep it simple. This will make the Rinzai combo really, really big, but at the same time, I don't know how good bombs are, bombs like this are. It's like. Yeah, I, I, I wish the second effect were better. I don't like that it's cost zero because. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like that it's cost zero because a lot of people around me play standby decks, mm -hmm. and even the ones that don't play standby decks, I don't feel like I need to hard remove their character, and I don't yeah. appreciate the fossil enough, so I don't think I'll play this card. Give it a one out of five. Fair enough. Whoa. Okay. Air change. 1-0 Kaho. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look at the top card of your deck and put it on top of your deck or send it to waiting room. 
So this card is placed on stage from hand this turn. Uh, it gets plus X power X equals the number of your music characters times 500 hour. I, uh, let's keep it simple. Ken, what do you think about this card? Um, it's a decent ish secondary attacker, but there's a lot of competition. Not bad though. So we'll give it a two out of five. Fair enough. Or 2-1 Jury, when you use this card's backup, choose one of your battling characters. This turn, it gains the following ability. When this is reversed, if the battle opponent's level is higher than your opponent's level, you may send the top card of your opponent's clock to waiting room. If you do send that character to clock... Am I reading this right? This backup turns a character into an anti-change bomb, but is not an anti-change bomb. Anti-change counter. Huh? Yep. You yeah. Got it right. Um... <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't think this profile is that good. Mm. I, like, I don't, I feel like it's very, I feel like it kind of requires a very specific um, kind of deck where you're like winning on board on offense and then defending with like a smaller character against an early play maybe. But um, if, if you have mm. more thoughts on this, Ken, I'd be... Uh, the way you play around this card is the same way you play around a regular anti-change counter. Yeah. Um, you can't out back row, and it doesn't stop the attack. It doesn't sack your character, so it's a lot less versatile, but a lot cheaper. Um, I don't really want to play this card because it's basically paying one and discarding one to kill my opponent's character if they don't play around it, but. Most of the time, you can just get one of those 2 1 slayers on the next turn and punch over it anyway. Which achieves a similar result. Uh, but you'd probably play this card in Unit Cup, so I can mm. give it a 2 out of 5. Alright. Next up, 2 1 Kaho and Shioko and Yuri and Rinze and Natsuha. Uh, if there's a climax in your climax area, this gets plus 2000 power. When this card attacks, if the character facing this is level 3 or higher, uh, this gets plus six thousand power. Uh, let's. This seems pretty generic. And what do you think? Of, we've saw we've seen this a couple times already. Oh, sorry. This card is actually this card gains two k. Your opponent has a climax. It's a mistranslation. Uh oh. Which means it's nine k defending against a climax. Oh, but, so that's um, a mistranslation. Okay. That's changed nice. things. All right. Then the, do we introduce nice. Tom to talk about it now? Oh. Yeah. Uh, um. But I don't think you get big enough that. Might become... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't say it. Jinx. Alright. Uh, sure. Hello? Hello? Sorry, sorry. I, I think I lagged a bit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I think the mistranslation lagged me. Um, <laughs> that being said, I think it's a bit better if it's your opponent's climax because it means you can use it to defend. Yeah. Um, but it's not amazing, so I'll still give it a 2 out of 5. Fair enough. Sure. Next up. Shioko and Rinze and Kao and Natsu and Yuri. Jury, if this card is in the front row center slot, it gets plus one soul. Pay one, ditch one. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, look it up to three cards from the top of your deck. Choose one card, add it, and send the rest to waiting room. Uh, I don't. I, I don't think uh, people usually. I don't think. Uh, I think I would usually play this kind of card. To be honest, uh, it's like nice. The first effect is nice on drop searchers, but on like a ch top check three, it's kind of um, a situational slash like a niche. Um, it's like a fine. It's like not bad, but you know, like I suppose I, you could I use it to dig three cards deep into your gold bar, but I don't imagine you use it that much either. Um, yeah. Mm. I like that in Unicup just to kill your combo though. Mm -hmm. uh, give it a 2 out of 5. Okay. 
Bro, and that was it for what is it? Hok Hokago? Hokago something? Climax Girls? Hokago Climax Girls? Climax Girls. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Did you notice how a lot of their effects had to do with climaxes? Oh! Yeah. Oh! Flavor! There's a. Uh, are we ready to go? Let's just move on. Yeah. To Alstro. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Alstro. 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 I want to hear you pronounce this. Oh, shit. Al, Al this is the English word. Alstro. Alstro. America? Alstro. America? You can do it. Alstro. Mario. Al Alstro. Mer America. All right. Alstro. Mario. Where does the C come from? All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's move on. It's actually no C in the entire world. Wait. Oh, there actually is no C. Yet. Okay, is let's this, go. Anyway. This one is... First card, zero, zero, a mana. Continues if your opponent has three or less characters, it gets plus 1,000 power. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may clean cut it, which is move a character, a music character rested into the backstage. It's a free kicking putt. Uh, sorry, clean cut. I'm speaking like UA. Uh, we've seen a lot of these. I, I think it's fine. I think it's like a, a pretty good profile, but you know. Yeah. Spread. I think attacking lots in Shiny Moss is pretty good. You can turn the stuff into hand pretty quickly. Yeah. It's red, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, a clean cut. I like that it's a TD. I'll mm -hmm. say it's a 4 out of 5. Four out of five. So I had to say that someone in chat said, uh, you yeah. can't play characters you don't like when you're R. <laughs> That's like me. That's true. Uh, oh, I'm starting to understand how the star things work. Oh my goodness, I don't have to do it one at a time. Anyways, moving on. Uh, one, one, tanka, continuous. If you have two or more other music characters, this gets plus 2,000 power. And, and hand on court, has hand on court. Probably a standby card. Honestly, I don't see any. I think we can just skip this. Yeah. Yeah, this card can be stand by. It. It's pretty good. It's a 3 out of 5. It's a 3. Fair enough. Uh, Alright, next card. Tutu Chi Yuki. For each of your other back row music characters, it gets plus 2,000 power. Yet another standby card. Uh, uh, so, but a 3? Yeah. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Um, You can chump your front row and it this doesn't lose power. Mm, mm, that's a good point. It's a three, yeah. Good to know. Next up, two, three event. Uh, choose one of your opponent's characters this turn. It gets minus three soul. Uh, it's not as good as money, but a lot of cards aren't as good as money. I, I think this is uh, pretty solid. I, I feel like I would feel compelled to try and put this in the deck if I'm playing red. And if the game plan account like like allows for, of course. Yeah, um, decent payoff for standby decks, but again, like I said, for like maybe the fifth time, the power lines aren't that great, so mm. it might not end up being in the competitive deck. The card itself, however, is pretty good, so I'd just give it a good three out of five. Three out of five. Three, three, three. Let's go. First up for the characters from the booster, 3-2 Tenka. If you have two or more other music characters, this gets 2,000 power. It's a healer on play. And then Climax combo, pay one, discard one when this card attacks. If you have the choice Climax pictured below in the Climax area, you may pay the cost. If you do resolve the following effect, if you have three or more, three or less clock, deal three damage to your opponent. If you have four or more clock, deal one damage to your opponent, then heal up to all the threes. Um, I like this card a lot. Uh, it's a healing finisher that's cheap and is on good trigger. Um, it's like kind of modal, which is nice. Um, both effects are like fine. What do you think, Ken? Um, yeah, I think it's just as good as you'd expect from reading the card. Oh, it heals. You can choose how much it, oh, how much damage it does to some extent. It's not that expensive. Um, 
If it was just this card, I would usually give it a four, but because there's another level three that combos on the same climax, I want to give this card a five. Yo, we first five. Yo, we need to buy a bell so when we get fives, we go like whoa, 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 whoa. like an air horn. Yeah, sure. How, how about every time a five happens, everyone has to go like this? <laughs> you can do that. Okay, well that's if I only I do it, then I look cringe. Whatever, it's a five. Uh -huh. Moving on. The other card that combos with the climax, uh, this 3 2 Amana. If all your characters are music, this gets plus 2,000 power, attacking for 11,000. Healer on play. Climax combo resonate with the 0 0 Chiyuki pictured below. We'll get into that effect later. Uh, when this card attacks, if you have the choice climax in your climax area and you have another music character, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose this card and one of your other characters, and this turn, they gain the following ability. Uh, when the card's damage is canceled, you may deal one damage to opponent. Uh, combos with the same climax as card before. I really like this package, like as a whole. I think they work really well together. Um, you wanna yeah. explain what you like so much about this card? Okay. Um. This card doesn't cost anything to resolve the combo as long as you have the level 0 in your hand. It's an 11k heal, which I think everyone who knows me knows that I really like. Um, you can either use this card uh, in combination with the Tenko, or you can just play this on the first turn and then Tenko on the next turn. Just a lot of flexibility because you have so many uh, technically oversized healing finishes on the same combo. Um, I don't want to get both them fives though so i'll give this one the four <laughs> Dang. actually let's be generous just give this one a five as well Whoa. i was about to say it this guy sense. likes tanka more than in the amana, amana oh man <laughs> even though by all intents and purposes he likes all the effects on this card more than the other one he's gonna give this one the yeah <laughs> technically <laughs> yes <laughs> it's just yeah. that yeah. I, this these cards are really it good. makes the tanka stronger not the other way around so it's also flavor. Flavor, okay. Yeah. Things I, what I definitely lack. Uh, anyways, we'll move right along. Finish a set. Sorry. This, okay, so this is the card that the card uh, resonates with, the 0, zero Chiyuki. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look at the top two cards from the deck. Put them back on top of your deck in any order. Return this card to the hand. When your climax is placed on the climax area, you may pay cost if you do choose one of your characters. It gets a soul. Uh, what a sweet resonance target. Honestly, like, yeah, I think it, I think it really does that. everything you'd want a card like this to do. Like, yeah. Um, my, my personal qualm is that it gives soul instead of power, and for some reason, Bushiro thinks one soul is equivalent to 1k power on these cards, but most of the time I'd rather give 1k power than one soul. Especially if the one case crossed them, like in data life, but yeah, and inherently there's a lot of synergy with uh, just being the resonance target. It also could fit in decks that slam it or climaxes without playing the resonance, so it's a overall pretty solid card. Uh, I'll give it a four out of five because of the resonance set. Fair enough. Four out of five it is. These, these, these cards from Alstromae or Maria are looking pretty good. Uh, two one are uh, mana uh, continuous. If you have two, uh, if you have a character with Tenka in its name, this gets plus two thousand power and gains the following ability: auto encore discard a character, and then auto resonance reveal the previous card from your hand at the start of the climax phase. You may pay the cost. If you do this turn, it gets plus six thousand power. Uh, wait, I I'm trying to remember what the there's a back row with Tenka that you always have, right? I'm, I'm not tripping. Right, Ken? Uh-oh. Card has two soul, by the way. Chat says. Yes, it has two soul. Attack set six. Attack set 12k. Back rows. Uh, there's one yellow one, which you'll see pretty soon, but... Yeah. I was going to bring up that. Yeah, personally, I yeah, okay, too. So it's uh, if there was a good tanker back row, then I would probably think about this card. But as it is, there really isn't. So yeah, uh, unfortunate. 
I don't know. I think it's you know, I think it's a two out of five. Two out of five. You might play it in you know cup decks, just the beta, but mm -hmm. yeah, two out of five. Damn. Three two Chiyuki. If zero zero Chiyuki is in your clock, this card gets minus one level from your in your hand. I'm starting to see a pattern here. All of your other music characters get plus fifteen hundred power. And discard one card when this card is placed on stage from hand. You may pay the cost if you do choose one. Chibi Alstromeria in your waiting room and add it to your hand. Not knowing what this event does. Uh, buy some context for it. Uh, it's a Operation Tornado. But apart from that, I feel like um, you don't want to clock your resonant Resonator. And there are better <laughs> early plays. So... Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea why they decided that this card should fetch an Operation Tornado. Now, for the record, that's a 1-0 event that nails 3, and you salvage level X or lower character, where X is the number of characters you nail. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand the design behind this card at all. Uh, I agree that I don't want to clock my resonance target just so I can get a tornado and then, like, get it back. It's just really <laughs> weird. Yeah. Uh, uh... It's not even you big. really want to stand by this card. It's not it's even big, only like, 10K on its own. Yeah, yeah, it's so small. Uh, yeah, if I wanted to play a global 1-5, I could probably play the one from Straylight. So I think this is a 1 out of 5. Ooh. Sounds good. Admittedly, so. I did put this on. I did throw this card in the meme builder that I chucked on Twitter <laughs> uh, late last night. <laughs> so if you want to check that out, uh, shout out to Dan for the idea. We love memes. Memes. <laughs> Yeah. Next card, zero, 00 Tenka. All of your other music characters get plus 500 power. Rest this, choose one of your music characters this turn. It gets plus 1000 power and a level. This does not stand during your next stand phase. Uh, it's not good. I, yeah. I don't. Uh, this is the mm. only Tenka back row card, though, so. Uh, 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 help yourself, I guess. Yeah, this card is not good. You're... I don't even know if you play it in Unicup. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pretend you don't play it in Unicup and give it a 1. Yeah, it's a 1. Next play up, zero, 0 Amana. At the start of your climax phase, choose one of your characters. It gets plus 500 power. Resonate, again, pattern, re rest this, reveal, zero, 0 Chiyuki, pay 1. Look it up to 3 cards on the top of your deck. Choose up to one music character from among them, show it to your opponent, add it to your hand, and put the rest into waiting room. Get high. I like this card. Um, it has a great, it has a decent secondary effect, and it's a, it's like a, it's a union, like a union resonator with the Chiyuki. So, mm -hmm. nothing but good stuff, um, I think. Yeah, it keeps getting your hand. Playable in both 1k1 and standby decks is a way to generate resources. Pretty good card, uh, it's 4 out of 5. Cool. 1 1 Shiyuki. If you have two or more other music characters, it gets plus 1000 power. Climax combo resonate reveal again. Shiyuki. When the standby climax pictured below is placed on your climax area, if this card is in your front row and you control another music character, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your other music characters and stand it. Um, conflicting feelings on this card. It's like a one-one. It's a one-one kind of eh, no hand on core, also kind of. Eh, but the combo is like fine. It's like pretty. It's like if you're playing a standby, anyways. I feel like you might as well play this card. But um, like the combo's good. Combo's good. But um, I just don't know if I like the body that it's on that much. Oh, I'm being honest. Uh, I kind of have a sort of opposite opinion in it, that yeah. I don't really like standby combos which stand some the card that you or that are meant to stand the card that you reanimate very much because I don't feel like it's a very good use of the combo in general but on the other hand I do appreciate that they put on a 1-1 one -one instead of like a 2-1 as they did in just like Overlord yeah. it's just clogs your really bad levels at least when you stand by this card out it's still a vanilla sized character um, but yeah, I don't think you play this outside of the unit cup deck, so it's a two out of five for me. Fair enough. 
Next up, two on Tanka. If you control another character whose name includes Amana, card gets plus 3,000 power. Resonate, discard one music character, reveal a card again. At the start of your climax phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, shuffle all cards from your waiting room into your deck. Uh, so it's like two, it's like 9k, because if you run the Resonator, which you probably should be, if you're running this Chiyuki to Resonate, <laughs> Uh, I don't like that you can't ditch any card, but yeah. I mean, I feel like that makes this way more, way less good than it would have been if you could ditch any card. But I feel like it's still fine to include, if yeah. Um, I think I think Alstro a uh, deck playing this card probably won't be playing triggers like Gold Ball, so mm. the likelihood that you have to discard a climax is a bit low. Um, that's, that's fair. On the other hand, it does mean that you're going to be playing choice and red climaxes, so emptying your bin before your attack is kind of awkward. Ah, uh, um, yikes. Yeah. That's um, yeah, I don't know really if I'd play this card in non unit decks, but in a unit cup deck, I think it's acceptable, so I'll give it a 2 out of 5. Yeah. Oh, the timing is also kind of bad, actually. I just realized that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, if it was main phase, then it'd be completely fine. You could just resonate oh, after that and yeah, yeah. all three. But... Fair enough. Weird timing making. I dig it. Next up. Whoa. Next up, 1-1 one, one, Amana. When you use this card's backup, if all your characters are music, you may put the top card of your deck to stock. It's a 2k backup. So generic. I think Ken can just... We can just rate it and move on, I think. Oh, uh, it, it's, it's a 2k backup that you'd use if you are playing choice, but not many doors. Um, hmm. Like a 3 out of 5. It exists. <laughs> Feels wrong. Actually, no, that's, sorry, that's a 2. It's kind of niche because it's locked to a trigger. Yeah, 2 out of 5. Alright, 2 out of 5 it is. Next up, 0, zero Chiyuki. Discard one card when you... When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your resonator target below. Shuffle your deck act towards. Discard one card, send this to a waiting room. Choose one music character from your waiting room, add it to hand. Uh, the, so the Zuzer Chuki is really important to have in hand, and this searches it for you for free. I think that's pretty valuable if you're running that package. Uh, and I think the second effect is like pretty nice with the Resonator. It like, since the Resonator isn't specific, this kind of, if you need really need to use this second effect, you, you have it there. But, I think this is like fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think that's about right. Like, just gets out of the way if you don't need it on the board anymore. You can discard a standby target. Uh, probably still two out of five, just because you only played yeah. index with the Chuki tied to another card. It's fair enough. Next up, zero zero Amana. When this card is placed on stage from hand, if you do not control another music character, send this card to waiting room. When this card is reversed, if the battling opponent is level zero or lower, you may reverse that character. Uh, uh, uh we can just one. Skip uh, the right I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't really care if you want to play this in unit cup. It's a one out of five. <laughs> All right. Cute. Also. <laughs> she is cute. Uh, next up, so we went yeah. over this card already. It's a. It's the Chibi Astromeria card. Brainstorm. Flip over the top three cards of your deck. Them to waiting room, choose up to one level, one or lower, a level X or lower music character from your waiting room. Add it to hand X equals the number of music characters sent to the waiting room by this effect. Uh, really old profile. It's fine. I don't. I guess you yeah, would you play this in Unit Cup? Yeah, you'd, I, I don't, think you'd play it in Unit yeah. Cup. But I don't think you'd play this in any other not, deck, though. No, um, I don't think. Using slots for uh, this card at level one is good when I don't think any of the cards singularly carry you at level one long enough. So, yep. yeah, unit cost specific, most likely two out of five. Sounds good. Next up, the Chibis, Amana, and Tanka, and Chiyuki. The character facing this is cost zero or lower. This can't be reversed. I think this is a fairly simple profile. Can you want to break it down for us quickly? Uh,. It's good against 1k1 decks, which aren't big on defense, but not very good against standby decks, and not actually very good against 1k1 decks that are also big on defense. But the other 1-1s in this set aren't that great, so... 
two out of five. Let me go to the standby decks. Next up, one zero Tanka and Chiyuhi and Amana. When this attacks, choose one of your other music characters. It gets plus X power. X equals the number of your other music characters times 500. Shimakai again can simply yeah. put. Uh, you know, you know, me, two out of five. Fair enough. That's it Bam. for Alstromeria. Some really, really broken cards are only five so far in the set. Um, we will get back to it. Mm -hmm. After a brief intermission, next up is Starlight Stray Lights. Stray Lights. Oh my god, you! I didn't think you're gonna mess this one up, man. Dude, these names are so hard to read, man. It, it's just a combination of two English words. Uh, English is not uh, UA. Side tree. Cool. I think a lot of the Stray Light. <laughs> I think a lot of. Straylight's um, flavor is based on a novel called Neuromancer. It's a cyberpunk novel from last century. So if anyone reads sci-fi, I guess that's the unit you're looking for. Sci-fi, cyberpunk. Interesting. Wait, yeah. Neuromancer? Oh, Neuromancer. Neuromancer. Neuro like brain, like ne neurosurgeon. And yeah. Mancer is like necromancer. Oh, this won the Hugo Award and the Nebula Award. I see. Huh. Um. Is there anything I wanted to say? Oh yeah. Um. Everyone's still watching, as you can probably tell. There's a lot of things that I want to say about cards of the set, which I won't have the time to cover. So, if you ever want to ask me anything, you can ask me on Twitter or any other yeah uh, any other what's its name channel that you know me on yeah for sure for sure definitely yeah. go on ken's twitter i know there's so many things he wants to say about this but unfortunately this is a two hour 30 minutes three hour show at max so uh i do appreciate ken being yeah. able to dial it back too much time us. should we just get started then or do you want to reach out all right yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm so bad yeah. at reading chat, so I've just been skipping it. You didn't miss any follows, right? No, I haven't. All right, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Straight light. Let's go. John, put this, flip it or whatever. Like, cut it here or something. Anyways, uh, first card. Whoa, these arts, man. It's waking me up. Uh, three, two, May for each of your other music characters. It gets 500 power and, and healer. Okay, well, okay, what, what do you give it, Ken? It seems pretty generic. Uh, yeah, this card is a standby target. It's a two out of five. Art is Sugoi. Uh, three, two, Fuyuko. Continuous 2000 assist. Discard one. Okay, so there was only one useful TD card. Interesting. Discard one card when this card is placed on stage from hand. You may pay cost if you do put the top card of your clock into stock. Rest this, look at up to two cards from the top of your deck and put them back in any order. Uh, not much. I feel uh, solid three level three assists. Uh, heals on play. It's probably for the standby deck, I feel like, but I could be, yeah. maybe I'm wrong about it. I think it's most mostly for the standby deck, right? And, yeah, mostly for the standby deck. It yeah. doesn't. Thing you want you to do you want on a level three in a standby deck yeah um yeah uh, that's about it i really like the effect so i want to give it four but i think i have to settle with three Dang. Fair enough. next card three two may all of your other three two asahi gain the following ability when this attacks you may look at the top card of your deck if you do put it underneath this card face down as a marker all of your other music characters get 1500 power and uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand or via change choose up to one standby from your waiting room and add it to hand uh, then choose one of your music characters this turn it gets plus 1000 power uh does it have to be that standby cx yes any... okay just wait quickly. wait yes it has to be that standby cx okay yeah it has to be that one yeah i mean Maybe we should talk about this when we get to the 
combo because like i Ooh. assume this is very flavorful to the combo i think this card is actually fine okay somewhat uh, but i think this card's actually got uses outside of being with the combo so okay this card, we should talk about that uh, if you change it, this card if you change into this card at level two um and then grab a standby and then reanimate a level, another level three uh, you can make a pretty strong back row out of basically nothing to begin with uh, it's a bit costly because the changes are conventional change but uh, i do see some potential in that being useful so um i do have hopes for this card outside of just being a support for the level three house here and i want to give it a three out of five all right I think it's perfectly reasonable. Yeah, and we'll talk about the text later. Yeah. For sure. So keep that in your notebooks if you're watching this with a notebook. If there is a marker underneath this card, it gets 2,000 power. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a music character, you may put it face down underneath this card as a marker. Yeah. And you want to give it a... Yeah. What do you want to uh, give it? <laughs> generic. Uh, I think it's a 2 out of 5. Sure. Higher than what Kuhn gave this kind of card. Can give it a one last set. I'll let's go with two here. Uh whoa. Oh. Uh one one may. For each marker underneath this card, uh it gets plus fifteen hundred power. Continuous. If you have two or more other music characters, it gets fifteen hundred power and auto pay one at the start of the encore phase. If you don't have any other rested characters in your front row, you may pay the cost if you do rest this. And in climax combo with the gold bar pictured below. When this card's battle opponent is reversed, if you have the gold bar in the climax area, choose up to one, three, two, Asahi uh, from your waiting room, add it to hand, then choose up to one music character from waiting room and put it underneath this card face down as a marker. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, this, I feel like this only goes in stray light. Uh, but I don't know how much I like. Yeah, I think you only played this card. Yeah. Uh, you can super high roll, but on average, the fact they have to either pay one stock or reanimate a not particularly strong one, one with your standby, it's not fantastic. So yeah, just give it a two for most likely being the level one combo of choice in the unit cup deck. Yeah. Next up, this 1-1 one, one Fuyuko, when this is reversed, if the battle opponent's level is higher than your opponent's level, an uh, anti-change bomb, basically. So swap the card, the yeah. top card of their clock. It's a 1,500 backup. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think the yellow one is probably better. I, I don't know if you'd ever use the backup text. Maybe in like a choice deck. I just but... appreciate the fact that. Um, huh? I was thinking that this you obviously don't use the bomb text after a certain point in the game, and then if you draw it later, you can still at worst use it as a one five backup. That's true. Uh... Um. But I don't think this card is amazing either. Although it's a bit puzzling why this is not a rare if the yellow one is a rare. Uh, <laughs> I'll give this card a two out of five. Yeah. I like it better for a level two backup, honestly. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Next up, two two Asahi for each of your other back row music characters. It gets plus two thousand power. This card is sent from the stage to waiting room. Choose one three two Asahi. Climb, uh, the three two below on your field. You may put this card underneath it, at face down, as a marker. And change, pay one, discard one. Send this from stage to waiting room. At the start of your climax phase, you may pay the cost if you do choose a uh, 3-2 Asahi from your waiting room and place it on stage in this card's former slot. Uh... I like... Okay. I like that it's a big level 2 changer, but... Well, it... It, it just, like... Why is it big if it's going to change? If it's climax phase changer, I guess. Stand by um, on the front row, right? So you just that's true. I mean, you could stand by this out, but like... But... Stand by in the front row. Five um, change, I guess. I, do have I, I just don't question. think... I, I just don't think getting the Asahi out earlier is that good. 
I have a ruling question, sorry. Can you put this card underneath the marker of the Asai you change into? Yes. Okay, there you go. Okay. Just just that's how timing works. Yes. Okay. yes. Uh yeah, I don't I don't think this card is very good, but uh yeah, I don't think this card nor the level three Asahi that we're gonna see is very good, but uh I think you have to play them for unit cup. <sighs> Darn, okay. So, I'll be generous with the level 3 in my... Which kind of means I have to give this card a 2. Alright. But, it's lit. based on raw card power, I wouldn't usually give this card a 2, but it's probably a card you have to play, so... You give it that. Yeah. Who it is. Moving on. Zero zero yeah. Asahi. Uh, during your turn, if this card has a marker underneath it, it gets 2,000 power. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a music character, you may put it face down underneath this card as a marker. Uh, pay one, put the top card of your deck into clock. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay cost if you search your deck for up to one level one or lower character. Uh, so Ricky effect, show it to your opponent, add it to your hand. Hmm. Uh, it's a Ricky that will probably attack as a three five and has utility later with like the top check marker effect because it's optional i think it's just good like yeah um yeah people who know me probably also know that i don't like ricky's but despite that yeah this is pretty good um attacking for three five is good i think utility later down the line is good um i think you want to go towards playing um a strong level one combo in this deck so being able to search that's also pretty good um oh you can uh this one a five yeah okay yeah oh yeah yeah a five yeah no, wait, you sure wait, about wait. that yeah yeah sure about I, the I, think this okay. Is a, okay. I think this is a card you at least want to chase um that's fair yeah whether or not yeah it's a five boys i heard it right right this is a five this is a five yeah so it's a five. You want to pick You're gonna these up the thing? early before they go up in price. <laughs> Which I think these cards tend to do That's over time. Hard. Usually if there's a card that goes up over time, it's the tricky. I think this is the second most expensive SSP right now. If There you uh, go. What? Stonks. Stonks. So in the morning. Boy. We hold my wife's boyfriend my local is currently told me to hold. What I've been Sorry, what'd you say, Ken? Oh, my bad. One of your locals. Sorry, I know. Someone at my locals is probably thinking that I'm an imposter for giving a Ricky a five. Oh. <laughs> Ken gave Ricky a five. That's crazy, dude. What did we do to the real Ken? I don't know. Probably just Phil McKay in a suit right when he now. Put the, when he put the mask on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> next Can't up, this away. one zero Fuyuko. Sorry for cutting you guys off. Uh, during your turn, all your other music characters get plus 500 power. When you would pay cost for a change, you may use one marker from underneath this card instead of one stock. When this card is placed on stage from hand or via change, you may look at the top card of your deck, then put it underneath this card face down as a marker. And it's a brainstorm, tap self, uh, salvage a music character for each climax you hit. Yeah. Um, so tap self, salvage, brainstorm. It's level one, which is kind of restrictive for like red decks, but I think it's like. It's obviously very playable in the Straylight deck because of the change stuff, but I think it's also pretty playable outside that too. It's like a decent brainstorm. Yeah, if you look at the top card of your deck and it's a card you don't want running around in your deck waiting room cycle, you can just marker it for permanent compression. Um, the brainstorm, which also gives a bit of power. In Straylight, you gain one stock because the marker can be used to change. Mm -hmm. But it's a bit. You know, I don't really know if you have enough space for a card like this outside of Straylight at the same time. Mm, that's fair enough. But it's not actively bad. It's like not quite good enough either. Um, for that reason, I'll give it a two. But it's a much better two than the two two Asahi and stuff. Brainstorm yeah. getting well, a two enough. is lit. Party boys tonight. Drinks on can. Moving along. <laughs> Uh, this uh, two one may change pay two discard one send this from 
stage two waiting room at the start of your climax phase you may pay cost if you do choose one three two may that we saw earlier the one that ken was very high about and even not in the unit deck uh and place it on stage in this card's former slot rest two characters choose one of your mu other music characters this turn it gets when this card's battle opponent is reversed choose up to one music character from waiting room and put it to stock uh I really like that you can rest this card and still change into a useful card. That's really nice. And then also, and the, the the rest effect happens to be like pretty good as well. So, and it synergizes with the card it changes into. Um, I think as like a pat, I think it, I think this works really well with the May, to be honest. Yeah. Um, this is a much better change than I was here for all the reasons that Tom just said. Um, I guess it's maybe a bit awkward that you have to tap something in the back row if you want to double change because your may might be in the back row then you stamp by something in the back but worst case you're going to tap with may and we're going to be 10k in front of a 2k support yeah. uh quite everything still kind of tied to the fact that it changes so it might be a two yeah. although functionally i think it's more like a three Let's, let's go with i'm gonna put it at three yeah. ken you're gonna be a little bit more of a risk taker all here right. and uh all right sure let's go three all right sounds good sounds good. on oh waiting on uh this three two asahi when uh it placed on stage from hand you may heal one this card was mentioned in so many cards before so we can finally figure out what it does climax combo discard one card at the end of this card's attack if you have the standby climax in the climax area the one pictured below you may pay the cost if you do put all markers underneath this card into the waiting room and deal x damage x equals the number of markers placed into the waiting room i'm a little bit disappointed i saw in chat people talk about vivid strike comparisons this is nothing like the vivid strike card i'm actually very disappointed <laughs> no. right now <laughs> chat what are you Man, doing what an insult what an insult oh, for that yeah. card what the heck uh this is much worse <sighs> than the vivid strike card unfortunately for a lot of reasons it's not an early play it does you have to change it in to build markers and it's like i mean it's like i guess you have to play this in the straight light deck but like uh yeah um, it's all right it's not it's, it's not that exciting unfortunately the only reason i'm not going to give this card as one is because i think you have to play this in straight light unlike the mono from illumination stars but yeah, uh, I really dislike cards that don't get to use all, all of their effects without the existence of other cards. So this card can't get marker for itself. On top of which, for some reason you need a discard, for some reason you have to dump all your markers. Uh, for some reason she's not 11k despite being designed to like come out early. Uh, she has like no other real protection than power, and even then, she's not even helping herself. Uh, yeah, there's there's a multitude of reasons I don't like this card, but uh, uh, she, she saves herself from being a one because Unicup Cup exists. <laughs> so two, it is. It's a two. So, it, the, so uh, many twos. <laughs> the uh, the climax is <laughs> holy. I think I need to buy four of those foil. That is so cute, Santa. All right, no one cares. All right, moving on. <laughs> one zero Fu Yuko. When this card becomes reversed, if this card's battle opponent is level one or lower, you may reverse that character. Uh, send this to waiting room. At the start of the climax phase, you may pay cost if you do choose the brainstorm that we reviewed earlier from your waiting room and place it on the stage in this card's former slot. Uh, question mark? I, I, I mean, yeah. But it's like an extra copy of your brainstorm. I yeah. But it's a level one bomb. It's so weird. This card is weird. I don't. Like, I mean, it's not good. It's definitely not good. It's just weird. Yeah. I don't care. It has a very very loose synergy with the one level one me in unit cop. Because if you bomb with this card, your front row is going to be empty, so you can safely use the pay one. Oh. Um, the rest effect of me, but like. Even then, it's really weird. However, if you're a Shiny Mouse fan, this card has a lot of meme value, so uh, I'll talk about that <laughs> another time. <laughs> All right, two flavor, four full five meme, man. Yeah. What do you rate it? Uh, I don't know what 
the idea behind this card is, so I'll give it a one. Fair enough. It might go up if I understand it, but for the moment, I don't. Uh, next card, this is 0, zero May. All your other music characters get 500 power, and it is a level 0 bomb. Ken, the one, right? I'm just gonna. Uh, it's a 1 out of 5, yeah. <laughs> Keep it short and sweet. Uh, 2 1 uh, Chibi <laughs> Stray Light. Choose one of the follow of the two following effects and resolve it. Choose a music character in your waiting room, add it to hand. Choose one of your characters that gets 2,000 power. Or two, B, you may send one character from stage to waiting room. If you do, then choose one music character in your waiting room whose level is equal to or lower than your level and place it on stage in any slot. Uh, is this swing, emo swing? The Haruhi event? No, right? No. It's not that. It's definitely not that. Okay, okay. I no, just, no, no. Yeah, I, Emo I, Swing I just, gets the salvage and swap. Like, <laughs> I, I had to, yeah, I had to, I did a double take because it's like, it's like, yeah, okay. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think this card is very good. I, it's like fine-ish. Like all the effects are like... Point, uh, um, oh yeah, about it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like... Eh, I don't think you'd, yeah, would you would run this thing. That you... <laughs> the idea is meant... I think the idea is that you're meant to sack the 2-2. Asahi, <sighs> and then you can reanimate the level 3 and you get the marker, but like... Uh, it's uh, not a great card. Uh, uh, it's a unit cup card, and even then you can't search it or anything, so... What? No, I think it's a... I think it's a 2? Oh, man. Oh, you highlight how insane Emo Swing is there. This is so bad. Two? <laughs> and this, this looks really weird cards. I don't get this one. Fair enough. Uh, next up, 2 1 Asai and Fuyuko and Mei promo. When you use this card's backup, choose one of your characters in battle. It gains the following ability. When this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, you may kick the opponent's reverse character to memory. 3000 backup. Ken, so uh, sweet. Oh, Tom, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I think this is card pretty uh, cool. Uh, it's a mandatory yeah. effect. That, uh, these cards are pretty good currently in the meta against both standby decks and certain 1k1 decks. Most notably Circus, which has to have a full board to use its level 3 combo. Um, yeah, aside from that, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a good meta call. It's a 3 out of 5. Uh, zero, 0, Fuyuko, and Asagi, and Mei. Uh, discard one card when this card is placed on stage from hand. You may pay cost if you do reveal the top card of your deck, then choose one level X or lower character from the waiting room and add to hand. X equals the level of the revealed card. Uh, you, I don't know. Like, you want to rate it, Ken? Uh, I don't think there's a deck currently that wants to use this card, but if there's an expansion, this is also something that might be playable. So mm. for the moment, it's a two out of five, might go up later. All yeah. right. And that I was think a lot of twos. A lot, that of, was twos. A lot of twos. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess the deck, you have to play some of these cards. Okay, so it's now that was the end of Stray Light. Now it's time for Knocked Chill. Uh, First up, TD cards. As, again, 0 0 Hinana, Assist 500, and Recollection. If you have a card in memory, this gains the following ability Act, Rest This, Choose One of Your Characters. This turn it gains, it gains plus 1000 power. Um, Why did you. Uh, I'm actually. I actually don't know. Uh, why did you choose this card? Oh, um, so. Now that I think about it, I didn't need to put this card in because I real I didn't. Uh, when I sent this list, I think I didn't know about the existence of another Hinana in the booster, which taps to give 2k. Oh. But originally, my idea was <laughs> you can tap and give 1k to the Rinze combo, and she becomes, what's that, 10, uh, 10k if she's in front. I see. Um, and you can make a pretty big number. 10k is 500 higher than a 2k backup on a 7-5 from a standby deck as well, so uh, it was originally for that reason, but... I think it's pretty outclassed by the other one now, so uh, okay. you kind of forget about this card. I don't think you'll right. play it, so just uh, give it a 1 for now. 1-1, one, one. It's, it's lit. Card. ED 2-1 Hinana, all your other music characters get plus 1,000 power. Rest this, look at the top card of your deck, put it on the top or the bottom of your deck. Uh, 
Uh, this one's also pretty quick. Um, yeah, this yeah. just happens to be, in my opinion, the best uh, level two global support that you can stand by out in a standby deck if you want to play one. Um, the tap effect is nice. It's probably a two out of five. Okay. It's just something to keep in the back of your mind if you're playing standby. Yep. Next up, zero zero Koito. Pay one discard climax. Choose a character in your waiting room and return it to your hand. And it's a pay one rest discard. It's just a. It's a draw brainstorm. Yeah, it's the. Uh, yeah. Forgot her name. Kasumi. The same as. Um, thing. Yeah, the angry Kasumi. It just doesn't have cards tied to it. Um, this is also a card which I think I looked at before I saw the entire list, but. Uh, it lets you discard excess climaxes in decks where you tend to have excess climaxes like gold bar pants and to some degree standby after you've already established your board um the draw brainstorm doesn't hurt as much if you have an abundance of stock because you can just turn climaxes that you draw into characters if you don't uh if you don't draw climaxes then you probably drew decent dish cards um that being said i don't think you'll actually play this card it just sort of came up so it's a two out of five all right Fair enough. Next up, zero zero Hinana. Pay one discard one card. Send this to memory. When this card is reversed, you may pay the cost if you do search your deck for a music character. Uh, add it to hand and shuffle your deck afterward. Uh, is this a memory focus kind of deck? Can yeah, it okay. is. Uh, Nox is a memory focused unit. Yeah. Okay. Well then, what would you guys rate it? Or what do you guys want to say? It's pretty generic. Uh, yeah. I wish it were smaller. Oh shit! Another effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not big on pure or solar clones either. Well, actually, pure or solar clone also has less power because there was magic text back then in Index. But um, sadly, you kind of have to play this card if you play recollection cards because a lot of the cards that go to memory in this are kind of bad. Uh, in this set, are kind of bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's give it a three out of five for that reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. 3-2 Toru. Oh my gosh, so many TD cards. Uh, if you have two or more mu other music characters in memory, this card gets plus 1,000 power. Pay to discard two music characters. This ability activates once per turn. During the turn, this is placed on stage from hand. When your character in the front row center slot attacks, you may pay the cost if you do stand this. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, you could have this kind of thing. Yeah, um, this one I included specifically only because there's a card in the booster which pumps this card by 1k. Um, so I just thought it's better to have this card listed on screen. I don't think this card's fantastic, but you probably use it in unit cup because it's big enough and it's a decent-ish uh, game ender. Uh, it's a 2 out of 5 for being a unit cup, there, uh, unit cup card. Fair enough. I mentioned it's pretty important to it up. Yeah. Uh, next up, zero zero Madoka. Uh, recollection: If you have a zero zero Toru in memory, uh, pictured below, we'll get to it when we get to blue. All your other music characters get plus five hundred power, and it's a brainstorm. Pay one, rest two, uh, for each climax hit. Search your deck for a music character and add and shuffle after. Uh, I feel like this is a Nocturne only brainstorm because I feel like rest two is probably too much of a demerit to justify. You know, get because like you have to run if you're running this card, you have to run the Toru, yeah. which is like kind of awkward, I think. So, yeah. yeah, um, this card is almost good, but yeah, rest two and the fact they have to have the Toru is kind of a hindrance. Uh, I wish this card was in was the Guilty Crown one, I keep mentioning that stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, this guy's a god of five. <laughs> <laughs> We've mentioned Guilty Crown on this stream, I think, too many times. A bit too many times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Global 5 on a Brainstorm just... Uh, what did you rate it? Sorry, I heard 5. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a 2 out of 5. It's a 2. Okay, 2 okay. out of 5, but I didn't hear the first part of it. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next up. This 1-0 Toru, when you use this card's backup, if you have another music character, uh, another plus 1,000, so it's 2,000 backup. And what do you think? Uh, probably a two out of five. Fair enough. It's hard to play doors in this set. So 
-hmm. not a three. Next up, three to Hinana. All your TD total restanders, uh, the one that Ken mentioned, and three to Koito, which is a card that I think will come up. Get plus one thousand power, assist level assist uh, during your opponent's turn when you take damage and you do not cancel. You get to scry. So look at top, leave it there or mill it. Uh, this gives twenty five hundred power to the cards mentioned. Yes. Uh, I fine, but obviously I think you don't. I feel like you'd only play it in Nakcho because I think the Megaru we talked about way before was like probably better. Um, Honestly, um, but I think you would play. I think this card is pretty considerable for eight standby because of the surveil effect. Oh, okay. Um, the fact yeah, that it's. Yeah. Instead of a 2k support, it's sort of mitigated by the existence of the two level 3s, which gain additional power from it anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, this plus the 2-3 minus soul event, or maybe the 2-1 event that uh, now guards it by discarding a climax together, should let you stay in the game for quite a bit um, if you can establish board, uh, board dominance. So uh, this card I, I'm pretty hopeful for. for, uh, for. Okay. Four. I'm probably going to play it and it had some high potential. Yeah, this this Tom guy is kind of cringe. I remember when Persona Bruh. first came out and they first introduced yeah. back row scrying cards. Tom went crazy for the Futaba. Now okay, he's saying well, this card sucks. There, there's some other text <laughs> on that card that was pretty relevant. Yeah, that card also has another line of text, which is a no god. <laughs> I had to bring it up, bro. <laughs> 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 Uh, next I think card. it was also what was it? Wasn't it a one k level assist as well? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. I don't Let's not talk about. Uh, it. I just Let remember take the one of the sets that they shouldn't give standby to, and that was one of the reasons I cited. I'm pretty sure it's a one k level assist. Fair enough. Yeah, I, yeah, I think in this, if you standby, yeah. it's actually a card is pretty good. Anyways, next card three two, Koido. Uh, if you have another rest of music character, this card gets plus 2,000 power. Uh, it has a heal on play. And Climax combo, pay to discard one uh, at the start of your Encore phase. If you have the level stock soul in Climax area, Pritchard, uh, this card in the front row, and you and this card is in your front row, and you control two or more other music characters, so those are the conditions. Uh, you may pay the cost if you do. Deal one damage and search your deck for two music characters. Show it to your opponent and add them to hand shuffle your deck. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, this is like okay, I guess. Or, uh, I don't think definitely only play this in Nocturne. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think of this card as a non-combo 11k heal in standby, which also gets 1k from the Hidano. Uh, interestingly, reaches the same power level as. Priestess and Goblin Slayer with that combination. Hmm. Um, the combo, like, forget the fact that it's on Stocks, is either um, you leave no resources for your next turn, even if you survive, or you're asking your opponent to Stocks off you. So, um, yeah, I don't think you'll ever really play the combo. I just wish there was Gold Bar because Gold Bar just happens to be a better trigger. And you may use the combo sometimes to ping one, but uh, generally, Combos which use resources to compress your deck at the end of your turn at level 3 are not very good. Um, yeah. But by virtue of being decent in most other aspects, I'd give this card a 3 out of 5. Alright. 11k healer. Yeah, 11k heal that gets power from the Inanna. Hmm. It's quite big, actually. Yeah, it, also yeah, it does. Yeah, it's like 13.5. Yeah. yeah. It's bigger, actually. Yeah, thirteen five with the Hinara. Plus level of support, fourteen five. Oh no, it's two five with the level support and the one k. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, it goes to thirteen five. Yeah, okay, okay, my bad. Uh, moving and on. Zero zero. It's, it's not perfect. Kind of. Not. Uh, if you have another rest of music character, this gets plus one level and plus fifteen hundred power. When this is placed on stage from hand, all players resolve the following effect. If you have five or more memory, choose four cards from your memory and send all other cards from the memory to the waiting room. Huh? Uh, 
The first effect is kind of cute because it's like an oversize. <laughs> uh, but I think you'd probably be only playing it realistically for the second effect. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was hoping that with Summer Focus, for sure I'd realize that cards with this effect kind of have to be acceptable without that line in order to be justified in your deck. But this card is not very justifiable in your deck if it didn't have the second line. For some <laughs> reason, it requires another card to be an oversize if you play it at level on your first turn at level zero. And then Nocto also wants memory compression, so I don't even know why they gave this this unit out of all of them the one that sends cards to the bin from memory. Dude, unit cups are going to be so really I, I don't unit get this card. <laughs> For <laughs> unit cup, yeah. <laughs> Nocto unit cup, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I'm just going to give this card a one. I, I don't see why you would play this card. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, next up, zero zero Hinana. A recollection: If you have a one one Chibi not chill in your memory, this gains the following ability: Act, rest this, choose one of your other music characters. This turn it gets two thousand power. What Ken alluded to earlier: Then discard a card. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost if you do choose one Chibi not chill from in your waiting room and. Uh, Assuming that the 1 1 event is desirable, then this is totally fine. It's like, honestly, pretty decent. Like, yeah, it's a lot of power. And if you um, want to yeah. talk a little bit more about the card, Ken. Uh, the event is the, it's a 1 1 event. Uh, it goes to memory. The top card of your deck is a music character, it goes to your hand. And it's a global 5 on your turn, as long as it's in memory. So, what's that? Uh, it's the sword from Adventure Time if you play English, or Little Love Rhapsody if you play Japanese, except for music. Um, yeah, this card is pretty good if you don't think about how good or bad the event is. And I think the event is bearable, so I'm pretty happy mm -hmm. with this card as a 3 out of 5. Sure. Okay, body, two okay. Next up, zero zero Madoka. At the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you may put the top card of your deck into your waiting room. That card is a music character. You may move this card to an open position of your center stage, aka runner. Uh, this is a two out of five. Thank, uh, thanks to Unit Cup, <laughs> we can move on. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, one one Quato assist level X so uh, level of support. And then when a music character is placed on stage from hand, you may look at the top card of your deck. Uh, uh, I don't... I, it, this yeah, card I don't. is not technically not bad, but I also don't think... I can't think of a deck right now which would want to play this card, so... Okay. The standby deck doesn't uh, even play this? No, nah, I think in standby decks you would replace your back row pretty early um, oh, yeah. with a level 2 or 3, so it's a bit too weak for standby. Sure is a common. Um, yeah, I think it's a uh, it's technically not an awful card, so I'll give it a 2 out of 5. Fair enough, fair enough. As it is, yeah, there's, there's no home for the card. Up zero zero Toru. So this is the card that goes to memory for the brainstorm. When this card is placed on stage from hand, choose one of your opponent's front row characters. It gets minus five hundred power. Pay one send this to memory. Look at up to three cards on the top of your deck. Choose up to one music character from among them. Show it to your opponent. Add it to hand. Send the rest to waiting room. Uh, I like these cards. If they have like powerful utility, like the uh, Heathcliff. From 10th anniversary, South 10th anniversary. I don't know if this minus power effect is good enough to warrant this being played outside of Nocto. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this card's only good in Nocto as well. Because to be honest, I don't even really like the version of this card which doesn't have the minus power ability. Because it's either a 2k vanilla or a card that requires me to use a resource to go into a next card without plussing. 
But mm. uh, you have to play it in Noxu, and a lot of the cards attached to it are not so bad. So I'll give this card a 3 out of 5. Alright. Next up, 1-0 Madoka. If you have another rested music character, it gets plus 1,000 power. Climax combo recollection when this attacks, if you have the pants climax in the climax area and you have 0, zero Toru in your memory, uh, choose one music character from your waiting room. You may add the hand, it's a pants climax pictured on the bottom right. Uh, so this is like the, the quote unquote payoff, I guess, for running that Toru from before. Um, it's like a, it's a good combo, but like again, the, the reliance on the Toru is kind of. Kind of whack, honestly. If you want to, yeah, I, I just don't, yeah, I don't uh, like it that much with that context. I think this is currently the most expensive SSP. Just uh, you don't anyway. like it, oh my god, maybe. Uh, oh my god, okay. I th uh, yeah. um, it is a good combo when you compare like... it, yeah, when you compare it to the Kirito from. Alicization that we saw in the previous episode. The condition is definitely a lot steeper, but being 5-5 five, five on defense is, I guess, like, sort of justifiable. Um, similarly to the Kirito, it's, once you have the condition, you're never going to lose it. Well, That's true. So, um, definitely have to play it in Nocturne, and I don't know how bad exactly the condition is like how often you can get away without using your combo on the first turn it's available yeah uh, definitely something to test so, I, think. Uh, I think i can be a bit more generous here and give it a three that's fair yeah uh, i want to give it a three it might move up to two or go down uh, move up to four or move down to two but yeah the middle ground seems like the, the best spot to put it fair enough three it is next up one zero coital recollection if you have two or more memory this gets plus 2,000 power and gains the following ability when this attacks. The level of the, uh, if the level of the character fate across from this is 2 specifically, it gets 1,000 power. Total medical. Cards existence is <laughs> It's a total medical card. It's like specifically literally just designed to reverse level 2 standby targets. On, yeah. So... Uh, um. Is this condition going to be hard to get in time? Yes. I feel like it might be. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hard. <laughs> Unless uh, you're like going to be so super the condition. Yeah. Two in this set is a lot harder than two in a set like Saikano or even Albuto, where you have, well, pre, pre banned Saikano anyway, you had like uh, at least three different types of level zeros that go to memory. And a lot of them during uh, attack phase as well. This set. I think there's only like one level zero. There's like two level zeros that go to memory, but one of them isn't in attack phase, so you have to play something on the turn before. For some reason, this card is smaller than the Saikano and 2 0 variants on offense. Maybe not the 3 0 one, but it's smaller than the Saikano one, so it's like technically not even strictly better once you achieve the condition. Uh, but yeah, it's overall kind of frustrating. Might be a bit better with an expansion, but. For the moment, I, think you have, I don't think you can even play this card in Mono Nocturne because your other slots go to your combo and Hinana. Ah, uh, yeah, screw it. Let's give it a one. <laughs> Fair enough. Too hard to get the condition in in time. Next up, 1 0 Hinana. Pay one when this card is placed on stage from hand. You may pay the cost if you do choose one cost zero or lower music character from your waiting room. Place it on stage in any slot, and at the end of the turn, send that character to memory. Rest one music character. This turn, this gets plus 1,000 power. Oh, it enables the rest of the abilities. It's lit. Yeah, it turns your... It turns that zero into an oversize. <laughs> uh, <Yes. laughs> I think, uh, those, uh, these effects are pretty good, generally. Like, they're, like, yeah. playable. Yeah. They're super playable in, like, almost any deck, as long as you have the color to play it. So, I mean, super solid card. Yeah, I think. Well, sometimes I, well, you probably want to play it in like standby or board. Oh, yeah. This text, yeah. But, Fair enough. But, like, generally speaking, yeah, it's pretty easy to find a spot for these cards if your deck warrants. 
Yeah. Um, the additional text is pretty good. Uh, I think we said this when we were looking at the Antigua TD, but you can spawn the level zero Kiriko chop with something and then kill the Kiriko to save that card. Um, the only, I guess, downside to this card at the moment is that there's no card that you, uh, that's amazing or like incredibly powerful when reanimated by this, as it is. I don't think that was all right. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's really the only drawback to this card at the moment. But as a standalone, it's, I'll give it a four out of five. Sweet. Four out of five? Someone in chat yeah. did say if this was not a five out of five, they would riot. Or like they implied they would riot. Sorry, the music's been wild. Okay. Um, I would. I would give this card a 5 out of 5 if there was a card which um, you could reanimate with this and got a lot of value in some way or another, but it's just a full in context of the set. Fair enough. Now, Ken, you are the overlord here. What you say goes, it's a... Chad is not overlord here. All right. Next up, 2-1 backup for 3,500 basically. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they just did not put it in the uh, second part of the text. Ken, what do you think? Uh, it's cool. You might use it if you need the power. It's a 2 out of 5. Fair enough. 1-1, uh, one, one, Madoka. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, if you have 2 or less memory, choose one zero zero target from your waiting room, and you may send it to memory. And it's a uh, uh, early play level reverser. Early play bottom deck. Bomb. I wish this card were not this card, but had this first effect. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, oh, it's so, it's, it's frustrating, right? Like, if this card were something else, I feel like yeah. this package would be so good. But yeah. instead, it's a level one anti-change bomb that you might have to play a level one just to turn on your combo. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say it again, but I don't understand why this card isn't a rare when the yellow one is. Um, but yeah, that's about. It has some funny flavor text. This card is probably a card you have to play in Noctual, so it's a two out of five. Oh man, might even just play it as a bottom deck anti change. In yeah, that's regular fair deck. Uh -huh. it, it's, That's fine. It's I just. Man, it's just the first line of text. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the other utility is just so. Wait. <sighs> in the meta deck, if this card is the bottom deck anti change of choice, can't you just play the 0 0 so that you can just send some of them to memory coincidentally? <laughs> Sick. One card memory compression isn't usually worth a deck slot. But it's free. I mean, the effect is, you guys said it was, it's not even the worst effect. It's not the best. But I'm not. You know, there's a reason I only yeah. read the effects. I apologize for talking out of line. It's <laughs> You're gonna get it later, dude. <laughs> two one Hinana. If if you have another rested music character, this gets two thousand power. Uh, send this to waiting room when your other music character is front attacked. You may pay the cost if you do choose one of your battling characters. It gets plus three thousand power on field. Uh. Eh. I don't it's think like... this card's big enough to win on a fence. Yeah. It's cool, but and uh, it's like yeah, it might be good in Unicop though, mm. just because everyone's playing on low power. So I'll give it a two out of five. I'm pretty doubtful you'd see it in Neo Standard. Fair enough. Next up, this two two Toru uh, recollection. If you have two or more other music characters in memory, it gets plus four thousand power. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. I feel like the 2-2 two -two we saw earlier, which is the same power, is just better than this card. I think it's way too hard to get two memory on time for this card. So I yeah. think this is actually one out of five for being being outclassed by another card in near standard and just not really playable in unit cop. Yeah. Fair enough. Makes sense. Makes sense. One it is. Actually, Next up. Maybe the lack of... Maybe the lack of early plays means 11k is a good number, but Noctua also seems a bit stock heavy because you have to send a bunch of cards to memory. I 
He's yes, brainstorming. It, it, it's, it's, he, he's brainstorming for Unit Cup, guys. He, getting a head start <laughs> on you. Uh, next up, one one event. Chibi Knock Chill. Send this to memory. Uh, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a music character or event, add it to hand. And uh, during your turn, if this is in your memory, all of your music characters get plus five hundred power. Yo, Japanese card effects are copying Adventure Time. It's so lit. Oh my god, that's pretty funny actually. Um, I think that's done a few sets before. Oh, it was okay. Well, now, oh, now I look like an idiot. This yeah, feels like the effects. Sorry. It feels like for sure these guys decided that if they need a level one met card to go to memory, that they're just gonna print this. Uh, yeah. Q Adventure Time. Q Alvita. Uh, yeah, when 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 they were revealing the the last events in the set, I really wish this card was gonna be a flower stand. But I guess I couldn't ask for everything. <laughs> oh, uh, you'll play this card in Nocturne. Yeah. Um, I think it's a two out of five. Fair enough. So, uh, my apologies. I spoke out a line again. It, it has actually has been reprinted before Adventure Time. <laughs> I look like an idiot. I promise I'll never speak out of line again, Tom. Don't beat me tonight. Uh, Toru, Madoka, Koido, and Hinana. Uh, recollection, when this attacks, if there are one or more cards in your memory, it gets plus 3,000 power and has hand on core. Uh, it's up to you, Ken. Only you can rate this card. Too powerful. Uh, I think it's a... I, I think... Nocturne level 1 lineup is already super tight with the level 1 combo and Hinana, so anything competing for that has to be pretty good. And this card is not pretty good, so one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, if I, and this might be the final card of the set. This 3-2 Hinata, Toru, Madoka, and Koido promo is an early play. If you have two or less climax in your waiting room, if you have three or more cards in your memory, <laughs> it gets a thousand power, and it's a healer. <laughs> this is the payoff for memory. Woo! -hoo! I, I, uh, I, this card is <laughs> this card is a carbon copy of a card in Alvita. But as I said earlier, in that set, you have like three different cards that go to memory at level zero. One of them doesn't cost stock. It's just so much easier to send cards to memory in that set, whereas in this one, you have to pay three stock before you can fulfill the condition. And, and uh, sadly, this <laughs> this is one of uh, two. Um, early play heals in the set, with the other one being a healer stock. <laughs> so, uh, make what you'd like out of that, but... Dude, it's super fucked up that they're making Nocho players play for this card. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I mean, realistically speaking, this card is 500 lower than the 2-2 Toru, despite having a heavier condition. So sometimes in Nocturne Mirror, you you want to play an early play here and your opponent just whacks over it with an 11k and that might just be the end of it. Alright, what do you rate it then? Okay, Our final know. rating um, of the night. Let's give, it, let's give it a 2 because you kind of have to play it in Nocturne, but I don't really want it. <laughs> I don't really ever want to play this card in this set right now. Fair enough. 2 it is. And uh, if my calculations are correct, this is the last card of the set. I'll do the thing that Tom did last time where I... Okay, this is going to take a while. Hold it down. Hold it down. I held it down. Okay, well, okay, it's not going to work. All right, never mind. Don't do it. It's fine. All right. I don't it looked do way it. cooler when I did it, okay? Okay, we can just keep <laughs> talking while I scroll. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the second episode of the best ever way short set review show with today's special guest ken takahara aka zabuton78 on twitter ken this is this is now yeah. your floor for any shout outs any announcements any uh updates in your life anything you want to say to the crowd whoever may be left after this three hour stream take it away man <laughs> yeah uh yeah uh, well yeah firstly thanks to you guys for having me on here um pretty fun well three and a half hours of just talking about this set that i'm investing money into um there's a lot of the sponsors i guess so that would be nova tcg uh, wise tea time and strictly broken uh in terms of shout outs uh well, shout out to the guys that bought play sets for me because otherwise i wouldn't be able to get cases 
Um, I'm also going to do a stream sometime next week, depending on when my case, uh, my cases arrive, uh, where I open a case on YouTube. Um, it'll be on my Twitter as well, but if you're not going to bother doing that, uh, it's on Team TXC TTG. Uh, I think there's already a stream on there, so if you can just let uh, set the reminder on that, um, I'll be just talking on there and answering questions as well. Uh, as I said during the stream, if you'd like to ask any more questions or hear any extended thoughts that I didn't bother saying during this very long stream, um, you can always ask me on Twitter or on, or on Discord, I guess. So feel free to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. All right. Thank you so much, Ken. I really appreciate it. You brought a lot of valuable insight to the show. Uh, I would like to also thank our sponsors, uh, Nova TCG, Waste Tea Time, and Strictly Broken TCG for making this show possible, as well as thank my constant co-host, Thomas Im, for being here today against his will, but here nonetheless. Um, yeah, Ken, thank you so much for being on the show. We really appreciate it. Thank you, chat, for being here. Uh, we're probably not even gonna there's one guy okay we can do a couple questions we can do it for a little bit there's a guy who's asking you a question about your favorite astro right. sister Ang angle or the devil what is your favorite astro what? sisters the angle or the devil you can art that is oh uh, which wait am i like the character or the artwork oh, i guess favorite. i'll just dance with both uh artwork wise i like uh tank has secret rare because i just like the black aesthetic a bit more i suppose but character wise i like amana from playing the game um so yeah well when you always said that i gave tanka five and amana four i like tanka four that's actually not true uh i, I did that purely based on card effects. Oh, okay fair enough i hope you believe me <laughs> i misspoke three times out of line during the stream i'm gonna get a huge beating from tom <laughs> uh it's not a cool well i guess we'll just wrap it up there it was three and a half hours long uh make sure you guys have a wonderful evening enjoy playtesting uh shiny colors we will be doing live streams of tom playtesting this set on the strictly broken tcg twitch channel so make sure to tune into those we will be announcing those dates and uh uh you can watch tom uh play this set so uh that's pretty cool also check out ken's stream check out ken's twitter check out my twitter Tom's Twitter. It's uh, all Don't check out my off. Twitter. <laughs> it exists, but you know. I... I'm going to end this stream.